What's up everyone? Tuesday 10th, 2023. 11:13 p.m. We're off to the races. There was a robbery here on Flower and Olympic. I'm gonna try to get to. I guess it's cleared. There was a robbery right here somewhere. I think it's a parking lot. What's up, everyone? Easy, so. It looks like the it's been cleared up here. Right now we're downtown by Staples Center. Or the place formerly known as Staples Center. Oh shit. Union and Wilshire. 415 man with the gun. How do I get over here? It's fast. Is this true? Uh, we're off to Union and Wilshire. Two six nine. We have the driver out. It's in fine right now. Oh. We have a unit phone backup. We're gonna be uh McDonald's uh, parking lot. We still have two occupants in the car. At gunpoint. Area Pena is en route to Union and Wilshire. 269 is in the McDonald's parking lot. Has two occupants in the vehicle. The drivers complain. Pena is going to find any direction. Uh, Plus 435 on 263rd Street. Plus 3rd Street, no evidence of trouble. Maybe we won't get to that. I'm going to check with 4802. Let's see how far it is to Union and Wilshire. Plus 3rd Street, Roger. It's only four minutes. All right. We'll go, we'll go to just check out the scene. It's going to be over. It's going to get there. That the suspect van is still in the Pierce driveway. Can have 8207 South Main Street. It's a broken D red van. The suspect will last him walking in the known direction right, with the see. large dog. We're actually pretty close. I thought it was further. About one mile away. I went in one ten, Roger. I was sure. Let's see if we get there in time for them to clear the car. Okay. We got a super chat already. Hey, Don F, Don Francisco, thank you very much. You might be known as Don F somewhere else, but out here you're known as Don Francisco. Unless you tell me that the F stands for something else. Unless the F stands for Figueroa. Oh yeah, there goes helicopters up in the air right now. Can I help you to the hospital here? 4640 West Central Boulevard. So this call, you guys heard it. Possible guy with the gun. Sounds like they were in a car. They got pulled over. They said they were complaining. They think that a gun might be involved. That's why the helicopter's here. That's all the backup's going to be here. Black man, no, it's 
clinic, no shirt, black pants, approximately 20, 30 years, what location, 3333 South Triangle. It's in this McDonald's right here. It's up, it's in, it's up, 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 it's when we responded and didn't meet with PR at the time, but if they wish to meet, we can respond back. Roger, stand by. You on a great trip and a place? Never on schedule, but always on time. John Harlow from 3333 South Triangle. Male Hispanic, 20, 30 years, no shirt and black. Hat. Well, we don't even need to get, get out here, dude. We got the perfect angle. It looks like they cleared the car. So this is a call of 415 man with the gun. Park for the walk in. And it's the helicopters. And the big response. Do you have an exact location? Outside of the But they did say that they were complying. Illinois 6025 Brainer Avenue, Armor 201. Suspect he is male white, oh, long hair. Let's check it out. Long brown hair, 5 10 look. signs of a gun here you know let me get back in and uh stay out here no signs of a gun Yeah, so this call was a uh, 415 man with a gun. Uh, but when they pulled up on him, they said they were complaining. Who knows? I don't see no gun. And it does not look like there's a gun in those uh, evidence bags. You mean the green gun with the strap? 
that's uh, the police's uh, non-lethal or less lethal gun. If it was the bright green one. Let's go inside here. I want to try to listen to the scanner for a little bit. Roger. Avenue Unit 9, Code 2, Incident 482, RD 639. 24 negative. 32 4, Roger. Go ahead. 853, are you clear? This guy. 538, I think we're checking. This guy's getting taken in. We've got another. Yeah, 20, uh, there's another question on highway. 15L20, this is for a male mental illness call. Just to have the supervisor assigned. L20, you can show me that. Roger. Another guy getting taken in. The suspect was still sitting at the location when he left. Fifteen code six in the east west alley, west of Broadway, south of seven seven, on a uh, vehicle fire, no five D. Thirty-one. You could show code four. Seventh North Hollywood. Seventh North Hollywood. Right now, this call was a four fifteen. man with the gun. I didn't see no gun in the evidence bags. In the watch. So. Uh, I don't, I don't like to assume, but I'm assuming there was some type of altercation. Something. And uh, there's two guys that were put in the cop cars. Which I'm guessing they are getting arrested and not just detained. And there was a third person that looked like a woman. That I didn't see her get, in, get into any car. We might let her go. So I'm not sure if someone just re reported a gun. Or some type of something happened here. There's some McDonald's, McDonald's parking lot off of Wilshire and um, Union. Zero eight one West Center Drive at Cinemark covers the panic alarm for the thief. Code three incident four eight eight seven. George 829. Incident 4645 1912 handle. What's up with the silver Nissan? It's waiting for his nuggets, dude. This is the, this is the McDonald's drive through John Adam 199146KMA. They're not going to let a police police operation get in the way of their happy meal. Victor 1337, John Adam 199. Alright, we'll stick around here for a little bit. Just See if they Can happen to pull something out. Message? I didn't see a gun. Did you guys see a gun? I didn't see nothing in the evidence bags. Look like just the stuff they pulled out of their pockets. They're still searching the car though. One Henry George Charles Victor one. Frank three seven John Adam one nine nine one four six. But on the way over here they said they were complying. No warrant. Uh, 2018 Honda four door nine boy Adam boy four zero four. 
she'll be at um, camp like 94 in North New Hampshire. Unfortunately, we don't know, dude. That's why I want to get back in here to see if we hear any, anything in the scanner. Let's see. We'll be back on 3596. Hazelwood Avenue. Yeah. Who knows why they got took in? Red Drive. Suspect is a male, white, 34 years old. Code two incident. Code two incident. Forty-eight ninety-one or the eight oh eight. How do we connect my phone real quick? Okay, so you can cancel forty-nine. Oh, incident. Forty-eight eight three will handle. Six eight forty-nine. Six eight forty-nine. Cancel incident. Four eight eight two. Six eight forty-eight will handle. Uh, everyone, do me a do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up, please. I'm trying to get to a thousand thumbs up every stream. I think it really helps the channel. It helps re it helps recommend these live streams to the people the next day once they're done. So if you can, hit that thumbs up. It's mandatory. Okay. I'll show you how you do it. You just go here. You're watching the stream, right? You're watching the stream within a stream. You're like, oh, AXN News. Oh, look, there's a thumb, thumbs up button right there. I'll just hit that one from one, 153 to 154. Oh, my vote, my vote counts here. Just like that, dude. You've helped. You've helped feed a starving stringer. U.S. Police Supervisor Beach 853, Corrin's in Iowa. Oh, thank you, man. 202. When you get a chance. Just I appreciate it. People hit the thumbs up. I never, dude. I used to never remind people of that. Now I know. Now I see why. Because I'll see uh, people's channels where their their views are getting hundreds of thousands of views on their channel or their video, and they might have like fourteen hundred thumbs up. Trouble 1179 West 16th Street, 1179 West 16th Street, come 3 incident 4899 RD 562. So if we get the thumbs up, maybe we'll. Uh, maybe we can leapfrog them. Identify. Identify. Thumbs up, thank you guys very much. This is 3217. Where's the link tree? I'm going to go to the Link tree. If anyone's on Instagram, follow on Instagram. That's uh, my backup. The link's right there. The link tree. A X N News L A on Instagram. Uh, and their location is going to be on King and Budmont. Who is these guys? Three forty one Rogers. Oh no. Be sure, Brad Short. Two oh, never I was going to ask the security one. guard. He's busy. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, uh, Instagram. For the YouTube Terms of Service, we can't... I, I can't show, like, jumper stuff, you know? Pity 14, Roger. Jumpers. The S word. Nothing related to that, so... Eventually, we're going to go to a scene where it's going to be a big scene. Just like when that guy climbed that KTLA 5 tower. And I went there and I was, that was a big stream for me, dude. It had like hundreds of 
well over 100,000 views. I think. But they took it down and they gave me a warning. So if we get to something like that, that's big like that, I'll probably have to like leave this stream on in the car or something, but then I'll go live on Instagram to cover this thing. No, why? 56 years, no further. Or whatever, if anything happens with this channel, there's like a suspension or something. That's gonna be the backup. And I do, I'll post like reels there from time to time. Yeah, they've already taken down like three videos and gave me like two warnings, so that's why I can't. I can't mess around, you know. Battery domestic violence, thirteen forty-seven, Bridge Drive, coach is at four nine one four eight zero eight. Yeah, 1322, all added to your stack, possibly related. We're right here by Alvarado Street. 29, 8, 29, your PR, call back on your company. Park their park. This is the original Langers right here. They've been here forever. Contact is in the comments. Additional 104836. Langers, world famous hot pastrami. Curb service. This has been here for a long time, dude. I think it's because this used to be like a Jewish neighborhood right here. Oh, celebrating 76 years. On S Saturday, June 17th, they just celebrated 76 years. Which Langers is the same one that's on Fairfax too, right? Obviously the demographics of the neighborhood have changed a lot. Right now, this is like the biggest drug area in LA, pretty much. You see all these people here. I think even more than Skid Row. I think people come from Skid Row to over here to get the drugs and do drugs. Skid Row is like where people live. I don't. A lot of these people I don't think live here. They get off the metro there, and then they come out here to get their fix. Yeah, look, look at all these people, dude. All these people are gathered around. Well, there's some vendors on the street, too. I'll say these vendors got fucking balls to be out here. Charlie, 
You can see it's a, it affects people from everywhere, dude. They're all all shapes, ages, colors, sizes. There's people that are they're like teenagers. There's people there that are in their seventies. All units stating 14 is responding to 3 from 116487 to 119539. Drug use is fucking crazy right now. Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, block, right, and green, black, player, and black, tight, switches, 10, 4, 9, 2, 5, 8, 1, but I think the difference between here and Skid Row, Skid Row people like live there. And I think there's actually, from what I've seen, I think there's less drug use. Or not, how, how can I say? Not less drug use. That more of the people out here are actually just out here doing drugs. And Skid Row people live there and some of the... There's a lot of people with mental illness in Skid Row. There's people that don't, a lot more people that don't do drugs in Skid Row. They're just down on their luck and they, that's where they're living. Thirteen is going to be appointment number five. Because there is services down by Skid Row. So some of those people you see wandering around, they're actually clean. They've actually gotten help. And they're living in like those hotels or those single occupancy no, rooms. I think there might be some this weekend. Have you got? Do you guys know of any? video did you see the video of the guy that went into the 9-11 memorial fountain some guy dropped down into it and then in the center there's this hole where the water goes down a waterfall 
Did he die? There's a 9-11 memorial. The, there's like this fountain, right? Where the base of the buildings are. And there's like one, one level of water. And then you go down and then there's another hole in there. And it looks like that hole goes down deep, like hundreds of feet. And he went up to the edge and then you just see him go over and disappear. He was one of the 9-11 victims, son. I, I just seen the video. And I don't know what's down that hole in the center. I mean, it seemed like there's... Unless there's a big pool down there that's kind of deep. That he could have survived the splash. It didn't look good. Physical drug screen and a work injury. There was blood in the water. I seen that. I seen when he. When he went over the edge, I seen that it turned red right there. Frequency. And that's what I thought too, but I was like, how's there blood right there? Like, it all up. I was working on it. I there's a vehicle to get back up here since you Hold on. We'll talk about that after. It's washed it all up. I was working on it. I was working on it. I there's a vehicle to get back up here since you Oh, should we try to get to this? Washington and Olive? To begin an ambulance attempt suicide 24th 30th place code 2 10 4 9 3 2 or 14 41 4 3 28 check on the easel 3871 area not able to respond at this time we'll keep monitoring unable to respond 2833 2833 is it clear for FD to enter an additional PR quadrant advise RA is needed at the location a stolen vehicle in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Calling for backup in an air unit, but there is no air unit. Yeah. Unable to respond. Index 48, Index 48, and units responding to the battery domestic violence at 1347 Prairie Ridge Drive. Possible suspect is a Mel White 510. Medium We're going to try to get to it because it's just on the other side of downtown. Short. Additional on incident 4891. Washington and Olive, just in case it turns into a pursuit. Three seven Campo Center four six five five ten five here. Hey Roger, matter of fact, that dude. Twenty eight seventy one. Oh yeah, when, when the guy went down, I did see that red spot. Yeah, and I thought I was like, dude, is that blood? But it didn't look like he was injured. I don't know. Must have been though. I thought I was like maybe there's just maybe there's like algae build up there, and when he went down, like he rubbed the algae off, and that was the original the original color of the brick or something. Lake Recreation Center, such 
the vehicle turn left and see you wagon in black sit down with the seven miles for his cell phone up. So six or three rocks and eight uh, people. It's code two incident four nine four five or the eleven thirty two. that they're going to put it into production or something. I heard that they had like a nuclear powered missile that they're uh, wa waving around. It's like a, nu it's a nuclear powered missile that can go underneath radar. Allegedly. I think they might have done a test, right? Like a small test. Oh, and I heard that shit. I was like, what the fuck? Exactly what we don't do. I've seen a real quick, like 60 second clip on it. It's some missile that's. This is what I remember. It was nuclear power and it goes underneath radar. It only goes like a couple hundred feet in the air. So it's under radar. What else? And it could reach anywhere. It could reach the US. Hypersonic. Hypersonic missiles Putin has created. Hypersonic. Hypersonic. Hypersonic missiles Vlad Putin has created. He stole the U.S. secrets on the nukes and innovated. Hypersonic. Oh, she's getting scary out there, dude. Hug your, hug your kids and kiss your grandma on the forehead, dude. She's getting scary out there. just left. I thought it wasn't available. Mm. Hypersonic. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was trying to think what else came after that, dude. That's all I can remember from that song. Dude, when I was a kid, that Super Sonic song? No lie, I probably heard that song like 10,000 times before I turned 15 years old. That's back when there was just the radio and the radio stations would all play the same stuff on loop. Like They'd play it like three times an hour. Oh, shit, it's too late. The suspect location along with the stick and shut up the window to a company vehicle. So, at the location, had to be on the vehicle. Trying to see if one was able to respond to that location. That's right here. Another McDonald's, yeah, McDonald's yeah, parking yeah, lot, dude. Hey, McDonald's. Uh, your rep is taking a hit tonight. But if you want to sponsor sponsor the broadcast, become an official sponsor, we may be able to fix your reputation out here. 
Second call in a McDonald's parking lot. An ambulance attempt to slide Pico and Grand on Grand. Just look at the transient mass by next 24 to 12, 25 years. Oh, no. Hello, we're ahead having suicidal ideation. Request FD as well. Go to 74957. Are you 182? That was a stolen car. Off. We're going to go back right now. I, didn't want to, I can't make the illegal turn in front of the cops there. This is the court right here. Superior Court, Los Angeles Court. Come on, man. At least fix the ladders, for God's sakes, dude. You couldn't have sandblasted the old, what did you say, municipal court? At least sandblast the old sign. If you can't handle time, got 80 to fix this left. 3150 Wiltshire Boulevard at Buffalo Wild Wing. Code 2 and 4 9 2 2 already 20 38. 2871, 2871, come in. You don't want to end up in that building for anything. 2871, I had it. You're there, you're calling. It's usually not for something good. 1129 South Toronto, stating the subject mentioned that she was having a panic attack. Is the subject with you right now? 2871, Roger. So they found a, this is a stolen car they found here and the helicopter left. I'm not sure if, uh, it sounded like they just found the car. I don't know, we'll see if the guy's out there. I hope my MySpace account is still active. And I had my I had the Lupe Fiasco. That's the last thing I remember. MySpace, dude. I had you know you could pick the song. Everyone pick a song that like made them look cool and shit. I think mine was like Lupe Fiasco Superstar. So if you went to my MySpace page, it'd be like if you say no, if you are what you say you are a superstar. Then have no fear. She's having a panic attack because they won't let her out of the car, and she ran from the. Windows are shattered and blood is everywhere. I don't have a description other than 17 years. What? Where is from this? the. The family member is calling for a 17 year old that was saying she's having a panic attack because they won't let her out of the car. And she ran from the. Huh? Windows are shattered and blood is everywhere. I don't have a description other than 17 years. 2871, Roger, it's going to be released for a call. Where is this? Other FD Damn. is responding. Do you want them canceled? Is it her parents won't let her out? I think it's her parents won't let her out. She's having a panic attack. I hope it's not fucking somebody else. I hope it's not like a stranger, friends, or whatever. Date. Alright, so this is the code, um, code 37 vehicle. I think it's a Toyota Paseo. Stolen car. We're going to do their investigation. We're going to get on from here, though. I don't see no suspect here. Dude, I just... Came to a call right here the other day at that ex almost that exact same fucking parking spot. Dude. Sixteen, are you clear? Oh, there is someone detained over here on the other side of the car. There's some dude in a yellow safety vest. One is a dark red mouth black. No further. Number two is a passenger. No black wearing a blue or black sweater. It's code 2749 Already 1837. Let's move on, dude. Well, uh, you said it was. Can you please uh, give us the information? 
if it was if it's yeah, stolen, dude, he had all kinds of like boxes like turn around. He was living in it. Female block wearing a gray and black sweater, black tights. Attempted to He's got all kinds of boxes in there and he's wearing a full yellow reflective vest, like a safety vest. Like a crossing guard vest. He looks like he might be homeless, dude. I wouldn't doubt that someone stole him, sold him a stolen car or some shit. Dumpster ablaze. 468 South Broadway. Why don't we hear that? Where is it? Probably 20210. Can you show me here? Oh, wait. Where is it? Between 4th and 5th on Broadway. A dumpster ablaze. When you get a citizen alert, always like go up in the comments and see. It'll say like one hour ago, two hours ago. If it doesn't say like it's a long time ago, it's usually live. Forty years old, conscious and breathing, suffering from injuries from a battery. Can I call for suspects GLA? I'm going to be on a truck that's not within Mahalia, Robert 999, Zebra Ocean. Flight ADW suspects, 10943, Lowell Canyon. 191143, Shots in Rep. 43, Andrew. That's going to be a missing only, non critical. 13L, 70, 13 now. Thank you. Roger, sir. Trooper with my lasting towards for a mile. Worcester suspect man is spinning. Has got white shirt, blue jeans, was armed with a knife earlier. Related to incident 4875. Go to incident 4881 RD 2038. Incident 4884. Correction 12X 18 year incident is 4871. Does anyone have one of these cameras? Oh, I think I hear the sirens. Anyone have one of these cameras? 2008 to 2022 camera? I, I like those. Oh, shit. One place on a white Mercedes, no place. This missed the light. It's right there to the left. Big dumpster ablaze. The fire department just got here. Come on, man. Let's get to the dumpster. You see it on the left side? Put it up. 
Well, there it is. Dumpster of Blaze. Downtown Broadway and 5th. Uh, FD is also in route with Narcan. That's just not the first. They already, they already got water on it. Oh, they got some flames. Ah, we're gonna get wet. We're gonna get out of here before we get wet. I'm being You're just receiving additional information. Familiar smell, dude. North of Selma on 9 Adam X Ray George, 477. We're not going Looks like they got it out. Not before the whole the whole block got smoky. I went smoky. Northbound Broadway at 7th Street on bus number 1689. Suspect is a unknown as possible male or female. 25 years, yellow jacket, burgundy pants, refusing to exit on the last stop. Code 10721, RD 153. What? That's like right up the street too, Broadway and 7th? So male or female, 25 years, yellow jacket, burgundy pants, refusing to exit on the last stop. Code 10721, RD 153. Is a On a bus northbound Broadway at 7th Street on bus number 1689. Yes, Nathan. call created earlier today at this location. Can you say you have some time? Say about Roger. This is what we call a downtown barbecue. There's a clock generated. Yesterday at 12:48. What do you guys think? Incident, you guys think this is arson or mistake? Random or arson? Well, shout out to Citizen for actually alerting us on time or something. Arson or someone just tossing their cigarette butt in there? Yeah, I don't really see many dumpsters on fire like this. You see a lot of the single trash cans. Those I see all the time. And I think those are just people throw their cigarette butts in there. And they're not completely out. And they'll just start a fire. Well, thank you, LAFD. Putting it out. I don't think there was anything really in danger of catching on fire, but you never know. There's no tree next to it. You never know. 
the building up top is mostly uh, Correction. Your it's top mostly like brick for your brick and cement and tile the board ups though inquiring about where the board ups are wood his wife was I don't think it would reach to. over and he was transferred to FD FD advised notified him that he was transferred to North that the victim was transferred to uh, Northridge Hospital Alright. Arrived home and found his dog leashed and blood everywhere. And there was an argument between the wife and him and he left the house. And he came back now and found blood and the dog leashed up. Roger, that was the victim's prerogative. She wanted the dog to be inside the house, but not free. Alright, let's get out of here. That takes 44 foot six bad eyes of wood man on 4, David Frankie, 477. Fire is out, but it looks like it had a lot of uh, fuel in there. Still, sm still smoldering. Did you hear William Frank Norris 382? What are those? Those plastic bottles? Street at DD7 Rafael, it's 40. Yeah, let's see if I can go 4961. I think there might have a lot of cardboard in there. 204 East PTH. Incident 187 on West Adams Boulevard, 2267 West Adams Boulevard. Three hospital shots prior to the back of the wall on the line with the PR. Coming from the alley at 3 and 39 RD 315, South West Unit identified. Here's call for 642 East 84th Street. That was second-hand information from CHP. Possibly the correct address is going to be 632 West 84th Street. This one is going to be 2027 Madison Figaro, 22267 West Adams. Okay, Roger. 423 Trump Avenue, Pesha Turn. No victim or vehicle fleeing the location. Radio code 217 45 and already 1565. Air 85, Roger. So the side is 9716 South Main Street, inside a liquor store, it's simply because of all black, under the knife, during the harm of the South, semi British Alpha 3 and 7, right here in 1820. And 4821. Threatening to harm himself? Drive in Mohammed Drive, go to inside 47, already 805. No suspect or victim seen, go to inside 49, already 1585. Engineer, by the way, there's South Arlington area, 4045 the Avenue. Heard only approximately nine gunshots. No further information. It's close to the 1051 RD 1586. I'm going to let you in a truck car and heard only in the area. Uh, sometimes there's. Six to Hunga, closer to Hunga on the cross street. There are three gun trucks. And there's people out here on the street with some mental issues that light a bunch of shit on nine fire. Nine further, close to incident by three RD 314. Is there a put in your stack? Actually, there was one lady right here on this corner. I was trying to light something on fire about a year ago. I forgot what she was trying to light on fire. She had a little fire going in, but she was... I forgot what she was trying to... I think she might have been trying to light a chair on fire. Like she had a little fire going from the trash, and she was trying to get the chair on fire, but didn't... I don't think it had enough wood or it was fake wood.
Creek is team to take the team ready, please. Can you verify your phone switch was 39 on? Get some flowers. Lithium, lithium batteries also uh, catch on, on fire. That is true. For a while there, I was going to a few uh, car fires. I went to a couple of electric car fires. The yellow Jordans to match the yellow hat. But ooh, this dude's Wiz Khalifa fan. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Everyone, we want you should involve at the uh, Union Station. We're gonna be on the street level. Thickness and Ramirez. Happy to one thickness and Ramirez street level. This is a Spring Street, one, one street east of Broadway. Broadway uh, has all the old theaters. And this has some old buildings too, but this is where they have a couple bars and clubs out here. But I think uh, in the last couple of years, a lot of different uh, clubs have been popping up on, on Broadway. Chicago, Chicago, the 53 to the Pierre Half Brothers. 853 Citizen flag down. Subject was last seen walking on the direction from the location. Now it is. Pierre resides in Motohoma, has no visual. Code 2 incident 68, RD 217. We're going to go snoop around right here. Pink incident 61. Next to Hope in 12th. Where, Where a citizen is flagged down. This might be related right here. It's on Hope Street. Suspects, one, one, two, three, South Hope Street. Suspects were four male Hispanics in their 20s wearing hooded sweatshirts and jeans. There you go. Very related to a crew call. One, one, two, three. Route to 594 North New Hampshire Avenue. Oh, that's right. One, one, 
Panther 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 Panther
suspect at 2222 West 15th Street. I have the RO calling in. She's requesting PD to give her a call back. That's the only reason they think it, it happened, bro. Really. To have that type of coordinated yeah, attack, you, you know, is is gonna bring a response that they have no answer for. Six one four come six Langan, three hundred Roger, when you're ready. Eight one eight. What scared me is when they, when they started talking about hypersonic missile shit today. I was like, oh, fuck. Confirm the address. Can you confirm the address for the backup? Putin's acting up now, too. We are 1525. Any Halloween is better. It's now. 6541 Hollywood Boulevard. Lights of LA. Sisters are 2 mobile. 13 and 30. 100 day influence. Upon unsubstance. Number 1 black sweater. Black pants. Black jacket, black they're hyping it up. Oh well, no, nah, bro. Like, how many people did they kill already? A thousand people? It's like, say, fucking uh, dudes, Ariz people from Arizona came into California and just killed a thousand people from California. Killed, kidnapped, did all kinds of shit to them. It's all on video. A lot of it is. That's a pretty big deal, dude. Eighty twenty nine, Roger to the rear. Because now they're forced. So I think Israel's thinking, like, what are they doing? Like, this is what they they want them to react. But like, they're trying to figure out what the play is. That's what I heard. I don't know shit about Middle East politics. Other news: The Powerball lottery jackpot is how much is it? One point five billion, I believe. For one point five billion, you win that, you might be able to survive the apocalypse. One hundred seven clearance The liquor store that sold the last one is right here. Where is it? Domestic violence restraining order violation 3547 and a half, Siskiyou Street, 3547 and a half, Siskiyou Street at the back house. Suspect so Jamal Hispanic. Right here to the left. Is right here? No. 15X92, Roger. 9 Roger. Las Right there. That place sold the one billion, one billion dollar winning lottery ticket. Right here. That's why this guy went from millionaire. Scratch that out. Turn that M to a B. Make that sign say billionaire made here. Las Palmitas. It's still at the location. It's right here with the knife. Additional incident 
Yeah, the liquor store, I think the owner's got a million dollars. Is it Pierre William and me? We were trying to move. There was a lady that claimed she was the winner. And uh, it was just some lady out here from like Skid Row. And there was rumors going around like the winner is a the winner is a lady from Skid Row. Which was a minute ago. She went in there and trolled. She went in there and trolled the whole all the media that was there. She went in there and she was like crying and celebrating. And then like you, if you look up the video, you'll see. Zero twenty or zero thirty, are you available for a next weapon call? She was crying, so the rumor was like, oh shit, dude. Someone from Skid Row was going to go from Skid Row to a, to billionaire status. They're already trying to fucking write the script. Oprah was probably already on the line, dude, trying to get the interview. And it turned out to... Was it some dude? I think it was some guy. And he's out there. He just started buying a shitload of houses. He bought like a house in the dude. He's already spent like 150 million dollars. Did I hear 415 man with the gun? Oh, yeah. I like your finger. Halid Halida Ayamide Kovic, 2341 West 111th Street in Inglewood. Pointing the orange puma straight to black path to the influence of that. 
call tune through 101 or the 1827. Seems like it's a pretty slow Tuesday. I think we should go by McDonald's and hand out some cheeseburgers. It's been a minute. So if we still got two for four, McDoubles. Oh shit, what was that? Something is, four, something is sparking over here. Huh? Seems like someone's trying to cut into the gate. Oh, fuck. Her someone's on fire. What's going on? You can switch back to that base. Someone else the uh, outcome when they get a hold of uh, our PD. These fools are working right here. Roger, thank you. Okay. What are people doing? Attempt city to be the vehicle suspect just left. 2800 to Crenshaw Boulevard from the Taco Bell. Suspect vehicle is They're a black working. sedan license plate 5 King Union Frank 508. 5 King Union Frank 508. Drivers a female wearing a pink shirt. Information incident 1063334. -3 They're working or this is like the heist of the century? Not the allotted bail bonds. Your suspect called advice. He is out the payphone. I think they're working. I just seen the fucking sparks flying from up there and I was like, dude, either someone's trying to like cut through the gate and then I seen, I seen that it was like pretty high. So I was like, dude, I think it might be like a light, some type of electrical malfunction. Either that's the heat, heat two crew. Caliente 2, 2, 6, 8, 9, 2, Starring Roberto Dinero and Alfredo Pacino. Alfredo Cochino. shit gets done all night it's open it's open to the other side it doesn't look like there's any funny business going on i mean why would they still be using the forklift to lift the guy up there once they're already in How you do? Hey, do you guys still have the um, McDoubles two for four? Yeah. Uh, let me have. Let me see how many. Are let me have twenty of them. Twenty McDoubles? Yeah. Is that too much? Uh, will, will that take a long time? Um. Probably. How about? Do you guys have some already made or no? No, no, no. They're they're made fresh. And then let me just have um, like a dozen. You sure you don't want the 20? All right, give me the 20, yeah. Okay, anything else? Let me have a regular Coke, a medium Coke. Oh, yeah? A medium Coke? Yeah. That's anything it. Else? That's it. Okay. Violation 10131 Beach Street, Plus Incident 101. Sometimes we get too many. One, sometimes it might take a long time to pass out. Two, we're going to need Sometimes it takes them like half an hour to make it. She didn't sound very excited about 20. Nazario Perez Ibarra. 673 G1 South Cigarette Road Street is now code 2. The Pira call back there is now here's glass breaking and physical fighting. It's incident 95, RD 1256.
Matt, thank you for the follow on Instagram. 333, send it over month. 16 hours, can't How much is 20? 20 times 2, 40 plus tax, 40 more bucks. I shouldn't have got the coke, bro. YOLO. Yeah, this is a McDon Ronald McDonald's neighborhood right here. If you guys didn't know, Ronald McDonald's is a... Uh, he's got a gang now. What would a uh, Ronald McDonald's gang be called? <laughs> Roger. What would Mickey D's gang be called, dude? Ronald McDonald. This is his neighborhood right here. They all grew up on the same street, dude. But they had that one rivalry with Sesame Street, and then. Uh, Snuffleupagus started acting up and they broke up. Also, the hamburger tried to start his own set. Hazard Woodman and Cable County, Coach Winston, 119, 90, 1966. Oh, damn it, dude. I'm dropping money into the seat. Yeah, I'm going to pick that call. 21, I'm holding another coach. You call it. I was going to go outside. You want to take that one instead? Or you want them both? I want that go. Forty three, forty three. Captain, you're calling Central 1 and 1 handle. I know it's buffering here, no? Restraining on violation at 14204 Tallahassee Street is now profile suspect 90 on you 1557. And colors are yellow and white. Drive at the David Buster to the Arcade Direct to Security about Black Warrior Security Uniform and Security and Joe 21 RD14. They say that yellow and red are the two best. Most recognizable colors for advertisement. That's the only thing I remember from graphic design. This is for transportation. Yellow and red. Surprise, surprise. McDonald's has both of them in it. Surprise, surprise. Coca Cola is red. Surprise, surprise. AXN News logo in the corner is red. Yeah. Yeah. If I order through the app, can I pick up in the drive thru? Yeah. Or no? Yeah. yeah. in the area, 254 West 11th Street. No, I got my drink. I got my drink in my two-step, my drink in my two burgers. 
Southwest. You just watch them and play off them. This is why I said, no, nah, are you sure it doesn't? Because when she was like 20? This last time I was here for like 30 minutes. And I'm here around me. I don't know. I've done it a few times. The first time I came, it, did, it took like 30 minutes. It took a really long time. But I think I ordered more. I ordered like 30. Oh, my God. And then though, on the next the one, it was all right. I don't know, for some reason, I think the last time or the time oh, before that was, was a big lag out here. I'm not really into using apps, dude. You guys use apps? Here now, 14244 Callahan Street is I know that you can get a lot of free stuff. People are always like, use the app. I got free fries. Jeremy's a fucking... Extreme couponer and app guy. He's always like, Look what I got for free. I do, honey. I don't know. To me, it seems like so much. I don't know. You kind of waste a lot of, lot of time to save $2. Because most of the deals are like the best deals are if you're gonna eat with somebody else, right? We're like, if you buy a meal and you get like a, a soda, then you'll get fries or burger and a drink for somebody else. When you're just buying for yourself, it's usually just like free fries or a free drink or something. I'm on a four by nine hot power with mental illness involved. One for two for Callahan. All right, what was the what was the number one suggestion for McDonald's game? All right, someone wants. Who is this dude? Von Bluesman wants more suggestions for a, a gang name for McDonald's. If McDonald's had its own gang, what would it be called? Whoever whoever uh, says comes up with the best name gets a free cheeseburger. I will say the apps would come in hand. The only reason I want the app is to pre-order big orders like this. Because that would have came in handy to like order this and just have it ready. Postpick number three, male unknown, no further description. Postpick one was using a gray handgun. Postpick two using a black handgun. Property taken with a rolling clock. Okay, Next time, Roger. Is there an airship available? Two, two. Mm -hmm. Mission frequency for 459 Hot Pro, 1424 Callahan. Roland McFlurries. Super sizers. Mickey D's nuts. Oh, no, I think you, you gotta do better than that. three from Like squirts. Locos. That's racist. Two eleven occurred twenty minutes ago from one one four zero five Chandler Boulevard. That's like last McGriddles, hey. Chandler, McGriddles is a good one. Two doors. Suspect number one is a male black wearing a gray hood. Suspect number two is a male black wearing a black mask. Suspect number three is a male unknown, no further description. Weapon used was a gray handgun and a black handgun. Property taken with a Rolex watch. Incident 77. Oh, the Ark Boys? That's actually good too. The McGriddles and the Ark Boys. The Ark Boys, Golden Arch. I like the Ark Boys. The McLovins? How about the McLovins? The 415 man, 3123 South Beverly Incident, 125 Hard to 897. 
East Side Biggest Max, yeah, Big Mac Tens. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mac Tens. Big Mac Tens. Okay. <laughs> Ronald <laughs> must, must blow your block out. Is that block out or back out? <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys for one, two, four, four, Callahan? Look, local. I like the the McGriddles. Yeah, actually, good. sounds like it would be a gang. If you never heard the term McGriddles in your Next life, the PR saw that you have the plus second company. She's stepping out to me. Like, hey, boo, don't go down that street. That's that's McGriddles territory. Yeah. Three, eighteen, count three, response to mission. Plus second custody. Watch out for the McGriddles. They should do a promotion with Mac 10. I guess Mac 10's not big enough for McDonald's now. You know they're always doing the uh, the promotions with like Cardi B or who was the last one they did? They did a um, who's that rapper's Cactus Jack guy? One of the Kardashians' boyfriends. What's that dude's name? Astro World guy. Fuck! Why can't I think of his name? Travis. Travis Brown. Travis Scott. I think it's Travis Scott, right? That dude. He had his own meal. Uh, Cardi B had her own meal. I think Bad Bunny had his own meal. It's the it's the exact same shit, bro. They only have so many ingredients. It's the same thing. They just put a different sauce, bro. It's like you ever try to fillet o fish. With Thousand Island? You ever tried Bad Bunny's Thousand Island filet o fish? Filet o fish? Mess with the McLovins, we filet yo bitch. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Dude, I feel like I went to Bloomingdale's. They give me a big ass brown bag. I got the VIP bag. Bloomingdale's bag. We just got back from Bloomies. Damn, this show burger. Dude, this is not only fans, bro. Uh, we're not gonna count them. We're gonna trust them. <laughs> My double bypass burger. That's a good one. For the older people, people in wheelchairs. But oh, it doesn't seem like there's that many people out here, so we'll see. And two, rule number two is don't pass them out in a big group. Then people come 
this around the car. Well, let's see if we see some older people here. Custody units, ambulance, and run felony, Flower, Jefferson, Flower, and Jefferson. Suspects vehicles of black sedan, flight southbound Flower, two three and incident 142, and RDC 329. She's unarmed, no longer armed with a knife. This guy looks like he needs something. Hey, bro, you got, we're passing out hamburgers. You want one? Pass that to your friend right here. There you go, bro. Yeah, I'm going to get one for you. There you go, G. Thank you, bro. All right. Is there a duty to see in the turnbox? There's cheeseburgers, they're hot. You want one or two? Two? There you go. We're almost out. This side, this side. There you go, man. Yeah, we're almost done. I got two more. There you go. You need the bag? No, that's all we got. Can I get the bag? Sorry, man. We don't have that many left. That's for her. Give it to her. There you go, man. Oh, you already got one, man. All right, you're welcome. Yeah, there's a lot of people that came all of a sudden, man. I'm so sorry. I got a water. You want water? Here you go. Have a good night. People came out of the woodworks, bro. That's exactly what I wanted to avoid. Oh, we got two left. That's why I thought it was just gonna be one dude on the corner right there. Like, dude, I don't know how. Fifteen people popped out of nowhere. But that's why I don't like to give out when there's a lot of groups. Sometimes people fight over it. I don't want to fight. I don't want it a good deed to go bad. This guy's got a walking, walking thing. Hey, bro, we're handing out cheeseburgers. You want one? I got you. Actually, you want one? Another one? I got two, bro. Yeah, there you go. All right, man. What happened to your leg, bro? Huh? Uh, hair fracture. Two of them. Hairline? Hair got fracture. How? Scooter. Scooter? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Take care of yourself, bro. Code 4, 
That was quick. Oh, fuck, shit, it's a two location. That's it. How many burgers did we get? Twenty. God damn, dude, this didn't even make a dent. Thirty-one FE five twenty-one is reported on female officer for a search of Bunker Hill incident four four nine two. Actually, sometimes it takes me a while to pass them out. Normally, it takes me longer because, like, I kind of pick the people that are kind of by themselves so, like, the crowd doesn't come in. Uh, the, first, the first dude I thought was a lonely guy on the corner. I always wonder if these places actually gave food out to people. There's like these little like tents out here with people there. I think some of them sell food. They just sell it really cheap. Call three ambulance traffic. RD eighteen forty six identify. Can you advise there is, there is groups that where they on, they can get uh, food at the missions if you come during the day. Uh, both the trains. Uh, we're gonna have a pet down uh, near the train tracks. Oh, hold on. LA Metro on uh, Flower Street that's traveling north and south to uh, hold the trains. Uh, we're gonna oh. have a pet down uh, near the train tracks. T three five. Can you advise LA Metro on uh, Flower Street that's traveling north and south to uh, hold the trains? Uh, we're gonna have a ped down uh, near the train tracks. Oh, we got a pedestrian down Flower Union. Oh, we gotta get to this. I'm assuming this is Flower and Jefferson. Thank you for that cheeseburger money, dude. 25 T31 and 25 T40 responding. All right, Flower and Jefferson A, thanks for that cheeseburger money. 25 T35, can we look at the airship to count the area for a hit and run vehicle? All I have right now is oh, a hit and run down with a TV down to a front end. Uh, but there is vehicle fluid being uh, southbound oh, on, uh, on Flower from uh, Jefferson. It's like Airship camera the area for a possible hit and run vehicle. Alright, sounds like it was a possible hit and run. That's the same call. Flower and um, Je Jefferson. Pedestrian down on the tracks next to the train. They're stopping the trains. And it seems like it's a result of a hit and run. 25 percent unit. Flower Jefferson for a hit and run vehicle. Vehicle. Has to the front end and the fluids are leaving southbound flyer from Jefferson. For UC unit, the vehicle entered a one to freeway 37. Oh. It entered the freeway. Hi, Roger. Can I have a third unit down into the area, please? If it got on the freeway, they're going to be gone. Air K9. Stand by. They're going to be gone. Overwatch, we'll watch me. What did you say about a K9? 36 hard to do one, sir. The breakfast is mid on air K9. Stand by. We are 2.2 uh, miles, 7 minutes away. I think that's where the metro is. So. 1681, no further. I'm sure they probably already shut off the train by now. Let's hope. Or at least if the officers are there, they'll they'll pull the 
person off the tracks. Are you responding to the um, traffic on Flower and Jefferson? Roger. And a follow up to Indiana Station. To five Indiana Station. These uh, activations are coming from? It's my nice number. Off of the station on completion of your call. One six three and one six zero. Just tell me to go straight. I was gonna jump on the freeway. Routes tell me to go straight. Part of the comments. It's good two incident. One six eight already thirteen twenty five. Hey, does anybody know what Our units code four. What the brightest Our bulbs you can put on your car? What are the brightest uh, bulbs you can put on your car? Legally. I bought new housing like for the lights and it made a huge difference. Because the old ones are all yellowed and they're just uh, opaque. And I want to get new bulbs. But I don't know uh, what the legality is. Is it 6,000? I think it's like 6K. Or is it really like, doesn't matter really? I just wanted to be a little brighter. Traffic, Imperial Highway Central Avenue, Code 3, Incident 149, RD, 1846. They have those ones that are like, you swap out and they're LED. They're like 30 bucks for the pair. PR, he'll come to you. They'll probably be as bright as like this car coming towards oh. us. Like, as bright as a newer, newer car. Marlon? With good lighting. <laughs> get a light bar. <laughs> I should get a light bar on the top. Three incident one forty nine. The only money I want to put into this car is just maintenance. Three, yeah. Unit last seen entering one ten freeway thirty seven. This car's too small, dude. Like I need a bigger car. Horsepower. More size. I don't really need too much more power. A little bit more would be good. But I, do, I do need more space. Three, four, four, seven, one, zero, five, four. Kyle, 
one Rhodesia, A Robert Queen Frankie Fortune. I'm gonna do this. Camera, no camera. I think I think we go just, just phone. has been transported. I believe he got hit out of his uh, hat and shoes right there in the street. This is right behind the Galen Center at USC Flower Street. This is where the, I believe the Metro train passes back there. Next to the freeway. So they're saying it was a hit and run. They're looking for a black sedan, last seen getting on the 110. I believe 110 uh, this way, south, probably. The helicopter is here looking for him. They got on the freeway, by the time a helicopter came, they were probably gone for it. I didn't step out of the scene. You can see their, their shoes. Damn, dude, he must have flew off there. You can see the hat, the one shoe, and then the other shoe way over there. Oh. That does not look good. Those guys are like security for USC. This building right here to the right is called the Galen Center. It's the gym. I think it's where USC basketball plays. It's pretty new. And this is the street that runs behind it and the 110. It's called Flower Street. Pedestrian struck by vehicle. Uh, firefighters EMS are responding to pedestrian struck by vehicle. Uh oh, the, me the metro just ran over the shoe. That's not good. He ran right over the evidence. Bro. Metro Rail. Mm. This 
not his fault. I don't know how much evidence they would get from it. They already know it's a black sedan car. How you doing? What happened? Did they transport him? Yeah, right? An ambulance? Or no? Oh, he's still over there? Oh. Uh-oh. That didn't sound like they transported him. Uh, if he was here, they would have been all taped off the... I think the USC ambassadors ain't no snitches, if you know what I mean. Know what I mean? Hmm, I got no more information on this. I know. I'm assuming they transported him or else uh, it'd be taped up. Murder scene. Let's see down the street. It's clear over there too. No tape, no nothing. I think we just missed it and they transported him right away. We got here late, the helicopter got here late too. But they weren't gonna get him. If they got on the freeway, they could be anywhere. A black a black sedan or a black car on the 110 freeway and you're you show up like five minutes, ten minutes late. Maybe a unit on the ground will see it because it had damage to the front. All right, we're gonna take off here. Uh, I wonder if that over there is part of the car over there. Sure. You see that over there? What is? Could be the whole bumper cover. would have probably tipped over that cone if it hit that. Here, we go. Here goes the tape. There's definitely cameras here. There's a camera probably up on the lights everywhere. There's a train, so the trains usually have most of the tracks. They have a lot of cameras. I don't know if they have all the tracks under surveillance. But I think they might. They probably have cameras probably for most of the tracks, especially here because the track is like open over there. There's no fence blocking it, so I think just for liability reasons, they would have cameras there, just in case someone walks in front of the train and gets hit. get a few shots this. the victim is gone I'm assuming he got transported I don't know 
I don't think there's any he would be here anywhere. This, oh, this is the fluid there. Remember they said there was fluid from the car? I think that's what they think is the fluid that burst. Damn, did he hit him that hard that the fluid came out? Radiator fluid? No, that's from the sprinklers. They were talking about fluid out here though, on the way over here. They said it was a hit and run and they thought that the vehicle left fluid on the ground. I don't know, I don't know. I don't think he hit him that hard that any uh, fluid would leak from the engine compartment. Look at the impact over here. It was a hard impact. It's, at least it looks like it. There's a hat, one shoe, and then the other shoe is way over here. They did say that they wanted to stop it for the, on the tracks. Uh, I don't think there's a victim on the tracks. But. I think if there was, it would have been taped off a long time ago. It would have been completely taped off because of the murder scene. Yeah, I remember they asked to turn off the uh, the train, but I think they transported them though. Unless he got hit and ran way down the street. I think there's like a tunnel down there. I don't know. And collapsed further away, but it doesn't look like there's anybody down here. I'll tell you what, there's one way to check from over here. find uh, more information if someone did die on the tracks they're gonna ask for a tent or a canopy I should say the Galen Center You gotta be careful walking, man. There's so many vehicle pedestrians.
see if there's any updates. Yeah. Let me try Citizen. There's an app called LAT911. LAIT911. That's been struck by vehicle. Mm -hmm. That's been struck by vehicle. Maybe, maybe he got hit like over here in the train tracks. Over here, like in the in the crosswalk, and he probably fell down right there, and that's probably why they stopped the train. No more info on this. So we're gonna go. I think the person was transported. Hopefully, they're not too injured, but it, it looks pretty bad. The shoes like that. You gotta hope for the best that somebody took off his shoes after getting hit. 1427 Bonaparte Ave. 39, Roger. Roger, 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 Verify, verify you're transporting a female. We're just gonna follow up from booking our female at the jail to the bush station. Okay, got you. <coughs> you got her. Thank you. That soda, and I'm regretting it. I got water. Hey, Tina, you're putting that off further. Time no further. 349, 20 minutes. Message is. Then it's being downgraded to a narcotic suspect. Now, now, put in 177. Let's go. Yeah, but um, this dude I know, he's an insurance guy. He's an insurance agent. I think he... Might, he works for a big one, but I think he might own, like, his own... Uh, what are, he's like a broker for a big company. But he owns his own place. Uh, he said that insurance claims are up through the roof. After COVID, the um, accident rates are way higher, like, a lot higher. And he says insurance is getting really expensive. A lot of small companies went out of business. 
and he said it's it's gonna go even higher because there's all these claims. There's claims of uh, theft, home claims, a lot of uh, vehicles, you know, from cars, all these people breaking into the cars and stealing shit. A lot of people breaking into homes, businesses. You know, all those people have insurance. And they're using it like never before. Switch your plan if you got a good rate, you gotta keep it there. Dude, I didn't know this was a DMV. State of California DMV. Have you guys seen that um, food spot that's up the street? That's like, that's like a drive through um, what do they call those? Kitchens? Like, here, we can go check it out. It's right here. See if it's open. I discovered it because uh, you know I was out here always late and I was tired of eating, eating bad food and I looked something up and like some Thai food place popped up. First it was like a chicken and waffles place and then a Thai food place popped up. And it popped up back here in these, this area on this side of the 110 where I was like, bro, there's no there's no restaurants on this side. So I came to look for it, and it, it turns out it's like um, a bunch of containers that they put in a row. It's just a drive-thru. You order online, and then you drive through and pick it up, and they have like, I think they have like 20 different kitchens there. So it's mostly for delivery or pickup. I think they might have a few tables outside in the front. Is it right here? 38. Seventh, I think. Did you bring three seven? Ninety nineteen code six. Oh, well, the sign is off. That's the sign right there for the um, BMO Stadium and Three, two, three, sports, four, not sports arena, the Coliseum. Okay, this is it. This is the back of it. It's closed right now, but this is the exit. So it's just a driveway, and then there's a little structures to the left. I forgot what it's called. Dude. It's a company. But this is like the future. The future of food, I think. I mean, even all the fast food places, they're putting in like three drive throughs They're taking away the dining areas. Because everyone, no one wants to eat in the restaurants anymore. And most of their orders are delivery or to go. It's this right here. The Grand Food Depot drive through 358 38th Street. Oh, that's a lie. It says it's open, but it's a lie. So if you 
so food, dude. Best food in the area, especially late night. Grand food depot. There's one, four, five, and 11, 12, 14, 15 little squares there. So I think there's 15 different kitchens. Like, they have everything, dude. They have, like, chicken and waffles, Thai, Mexican food, oh, pizzas. And it's actually a good business idea, man. It's good because uh, it's a cheap alternative to starting your own business. You, know? you don't have a, to have a huge restaurant. You can just kind of test and see if people like the food. I think you're going to see a lot more of those popping up everywhere. Roger, I've already locked off. Can you the last four days? Uh -huh. Zero givens. I thought it said zero fuck givens. Zero givens, dude. Nothing is given. The 2002 Black GMC Yukon license plate That's of early. 5 Young John Mary Anybody been re-watching the streams? I started putting the timestamps. Other people are putting them too, so. If you guys want to watch the next day, just go in the comments. The next day. If I don't have it up there, usually somebody else is putting it on. Just go to the comments and you'll see the timestamps. Of all the scenes we go to. And leave a comment. These videos get... We're getting like almost a thousand people watching live, but afterwards there's, there's no comments. Like two. So, I appreciate anyone that leaves a comment. I think it, it definitely helps. Comments and thumbs up. But I think comments might even be more important because that's where that's where it shows YouTube that there's interaction. Because I notice all my videos that get the most views, they also have, they have like the most comments, or they get a lot of comments in the beginning. And I think YouTube's just like, oh, people are talking here. We're gonna move this up the list of recommendations. Seven fourteen of 40, we're responding and we'll assist with Spanish 
76 appears no longer at the location. He does request a call back by the officers. I put his number in the first comment for you. Roger. And I found one. It's view 815 West 40th Plains, South Lake with the Father Mel Hispanic. 40 year old green shirt, black pants with the two. The son of Mel Hispanic, 18 years green sweatshirt, out of the influence of alcohol. Roger. Yeah, but I'll have the timestamps up there, so that way you can just see if there's anything you want to watch. You can skip, you can skip all the filler. Henry Frank Roberts, 747. I'm going to Queen 86, Henry Frank Roberts, 747. Property. 31 BRQ1, 31 BRQ1, additional on your traffic collision at 3rd and Vermont, received a call from a peer requesting an RA. He's on route at 7238. Hey, thank you, Larry Zeno. Yeah, you can leave poetry. Any comment. Any, uh, just anything, dude. Just thumbs up, whatever. You can just put A. City Central Unit, possible impersonating officers. Suspects are what? now 525 East 9th Street. Suspects are two male armed security officers. What? We want to comment further. Go to the 246 RD 176. We got fake cops, dude. Bad boys. Fake bad boys. It's right here, 2 Central. What the hell? Unit, possible impersonating officers. Suspect are now 525 East 9th Street. Suspects are two male armed security officers. Monitor and comment you further. Code 2 into the 246 RD 1525 East 9th Street. That's not very far. This should be interesting. I don't think I've ever been to one of these calls. 747 no one, no warrant. 2009 Ford and Fordor. Anthony Ross, P.O. Box 2562, Pasadena, also showing a pending mass file record. Uh, hey, impersonating a cop isn't even that big of a charge, though, huh? You figure it would be, but like, you know, like when uh, this guy was caught trying to be a cop. And then when they do like uh, the update with sentence they got, like, oh, it's like a slap on the wrist. Unless, I guess, unless they actually tried to like arrest somebody or something. I guess they probably give you a bit worse for that. At that point, you're like kidnapping people. story that I've seen like that, it's like, and he was sentenced to 12 months probation. I think I've only seen one where a dude got like jail time and it was like three months. Your 
I think a lot has to it has to do with what you actually do while you're doing it. But I, you know what? I'm lying, dude. I have seen some videos where some dude got in big trouble because he pulled over a cop. I think he pulled over a cop on the freeway. I, got, he, I think he pulled over an off-duty cop, and the dude was like, huh? He knew something was fishy, you know? What the fuck? Like, that badge don't look real. Is that shit plastic? Roger. Any comments provided for the response? 145 3 Cops know cops. Spot of faith. Oh, remember that dude that showed up to that? That was crazy. He showed up to that RFK. Um, what was he having? Some type of rally? And he was dressed as a marshal? And he had all these weapons on him? Just right. passed by. Oh, come on, man. Nothing. You see any fake cops around here? Southeast Unit can have investigation 9305 May Avenue incident 247 or the 1822. 25 East 9th Street. <laughs> Nothing. I seen a real cop pass by. Or was that a fake cop? Happy 420 Crenshaw Expo. Dun, dun, dun. We should flag down those cops and ask them if they're real cops. Unit, this is the address right here. So. 31 at 150. You can show me clear. Okay, 50, Roger. Let's see. Get on a bike over there. Turn to parking lot, 8 to get that. Robert, 8 to 10. Lied to us. We call us the M711 parking lot. What about VRT1? No, no, yeah. Alright, what time is it? 147? How much time do you guys got? Hey, let's get some thumbs up, please. I'm trying to get to a thousand thumbs up. Fake carp. <laughs> it was at the aquarium, dude. It was. It was a guy impersonating a carp. Damn static. Oh damn! Look at this graffiti right here. TK. Actually, I found some sick ass chairs here one time. They were like some mid-century modern chairs. And I, that's when I had the even smaller Corolla and I stuffed them in there because I seen them and I had their, I found them right here. They were just thrown away on the street here with like a broken desk and some other shit. But I ended up selling them for like 350 bucks. That's why I put them in the car. This big ass PKO. Technical knockout. Nine 
four zero lot to hear him. That's what I miss about having the truck. I used to throw anything I found in there in the back. Nine four nine four zero la T la T hurrah. Unit nine seventy thirty five reach on you better follow traffic to nine four zero zero let's hear. Oh nine four zero zero let's hear. Looking out there, I hear a lot of girls looking for the house. Westchester. Never mind. Eight thirty nine has a suspect inside the house. Three four three four Floyd Avenue. Suspect is even further. Line. It's by the airport. One five zero zero Elbridge Avenue. The community turns to right. Charter Middle School. Twenty four minutes. They always decorate this stop sign. There's an artist out here that always makes like something out of it. That's why that sign is brand new. They actually do cool stuff with it. But it kind of messes up the uh, traffic. Someone, someone could crash for not seeing the stop sign. I think one time he turned it into Santa Claus. What else? Picking up 20. Oh, look at this glow in the dark. You know, the shows up. Dark from the first shop, uh, the house. Fanta! Zero sugar. Fanta, Fanta. Do you want to? Want to, Fanta? What was this? Shield. Oh, I need a shield. Fanta, Fanta. Do you want to? Fanta, Fanta. Why does it? Oh, because it has a black light. So it glows. Dude, if I ever get rich, I'm going to piss off the neighbors. and I'm going to paint my house in that neon <laughs> that neon color with black lights. be like a blue face the rapper his his house is painted like in, in blue camouflage the whole house call unit ambulance with oxygen travelers are made at the chevron code 2 incident 260 rd 111 call unit ambulance with oxygen travelers are made at the chevron mm -hmm. code 2 o'clock Call unit ambulance with oxygen travelers and main at the Chevron. Code 2 incident 260 RD 111. Call unit ambulance with oxygen travelers and main at the Chevron. Code 2 incident 260 RD 111. Did you say ambulance attack? Roger. Before Floyd Harris. Two thirty two eighteen eighty four nine one handle. Where are we? Two eighty five, fifteen eighty five. Repair. Call back. Attempt to cancel. The call at three two three four Oakdale Road was advised. Get these code six and just step out to me. Twenty thirty one. Twenty thirty one. Handle the sound child. Good job. This block right here is the uh, gay block of Broadway. There's a lot of gay clubs opening up here. I've seen a lot of rainbows. Alright, we 
will be on him if some man will be there in four minutes. Rosemont Avenue, code 2237, RD216, Rampart Unit, I'll go ahead and identify. 31 at 150, you can show me clear. 350, Roger. Baron, Sony, parking lot, 8 Union, that all our beats and chips. Uh, one minute out. I think this was uh, an attack at this gas station. Uh, maybe because of gas prices. Sorry, RPRT1 is requesting an Olympic arrest traffic unit for crowd control, third in Vermont, incident 238. Crowd control? Third in Vermont. Alright, we might go to this after. We probably are because it's so slow tonight. It's Tuesday night. Hey, thanks everybody for watching, man. 27 till 33, Roger. I mean, Tuesdays I would avoid. I would only do Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I mean, you know, during the week, like a Tuesday, Wednesday, it could be completely dead. But now that we have almost a thousand people watching all of a sudden if a thousand people are willing to watch on a, on a tuesday right i'll be out on tuesdays roger it was a 20 minute eta wrong thank you Right here, this area, like Chinatown, 
It's going to be packed full of uh, residential housing units like this. Like this, this one to the left right here in the front left. Like over there where the train station is, they have some huge lots and that's going to house like, I don't know dude, thousands of units I'm sure. This area right here to the left of us, which is um, north, north of downtown. 20 years from now, dude, this will be like a little metropolis, I think. A lot of people live in here. Right now, it's just businesses. There's not too many. Uh, There's not really a lot of housing. Well, you know, I'm dealing with access to travelers in Maine at the Chevron. Code 2, incident 260 RD 111. Let's see the attack. Is it, this is it right here. Caesar Chavez in Maine. Before Floyd Harris. Ambulance ain't showing up. They're attacking your gas tank here, dude. 779 for regular. These guys are look attacked. I think it's that guy. He's lifting his arm. He got hurt, but it doesn't look like he's bleeding or anything. Let's see how long it takes for the ambulance and the cops to get here. I want to report a crime too. Price gouging. Regular 779 plus 785 Supreme 789. These guys look awfully fidgety though. Let's park over here. Fidgety smidgety. That's our victim right there. The guy on the left. He's looking awfully fidgety though. If that's the right word. No fidgety. Has to bag it up. No fidgety. I think that's him because he was uh, lifting his shirt and he was like holding his arm like his tricep like he was showing that dude like oh look I'm hurt here or something I don't know it doesn't look like he's got any major injuries no blood no blood no foul very nervous though fidgety nervous Wait and see how long the ambulance takes. Roger 15, can PR step up. 15, semi. We're flying down at the historic police station. Yeah, yeah. It shouldn't be taking this long. I told you, Roger. No cop either. Central traffic in it, hit and run misdemeanor 810 Beacon Avenue. Suspect vehicles of Ray Acre, two door, a Adam Edward Frank 540. Left that scene, it's incident 277. Oh, that other guy that was there just like, completely disappeared. Drive. Code 2 incident 276 RD 362. This is this dude right here. 
PR. He's gonna do some medical location once he lands on the hospital. Heading 15, Roger. Need units, freeway 1 minute, 1418 East 21st, 1418 East 21st, and the back house, two houses east of the locations, go 13278, already 1324, need units, 10 right. Look at that billboard, stop the gondola. Impression. A McCourt wins community shirt. losers. There are currently 15 employees inside the cops, so they are working on something. You guys heard of that gondola? I got a billboard, look. Stop the gondola. Avenue incident 247 or the McCourt wins, community loses. If you're interested in stopping the gondola, you can go to stopthegondola.org. I remember hearing about that project, but I don't know the details. Well, let's go stop the gondola. Let's check it out. Stop the gondola. Dot org. Let's see what we find here. I think it's supposed to be some gondola to get people up to Dodger Stadium. But I think it's probably like based right here. These people don't want it. Take action. Send a letter to the Metro Board. Former Dodgers owner Frank McCourt wants to build an aerial gondola between Union Station and Dodger Stadium that could cost a whopping $500 million. The developers have failed to provide important information about this, this vanity project's safety, long-term operation costs, and who pays for it if it runs over budget. There is no guarantee taxpayers won't be left holding the bag on expensive construction change orders, other over cost overruns, and ongoing maintenance and operations. A recent poll shows 76% of Angelinos oppose the gondola project. <clears throat> Here's why. No real community input and lack of transparency. Transparency. Two, it's a waste of taxpayer dollars. It's likely to be $500 million. LA wants free shuttles, not expensive gondolas. There's already a free shuttle bus that takes people to Dodger Stadium. Why are we going to spend hundreds of millions of dollars and dirt years of traffic caused by construction and tear up the community? LA didn't ask for this project and who's going to ride it? A better, easier, and more viable solution is to enhance the existing and popular Dodgers Express with more robust zero emission shuttle bus system. Uh, it's no accident. A few people know about this project. LAR has engaged in limited community input, likely hoping to get this gigantic project approved before anyone notices. But it's not too late to stop this wasteful and unnecessary billionaire's pet project. Well, that's it. The gondola. Mm. I don't know how, let's see, where's Union Station? Uh, so Union Station is right there. And I'm trying to visualize this. Alvera Street is right there. The oldest street in LA right here. This is the street that started it all right here. Alvera Street. Placita. Olvera. There's a, I think, the oldest... Adobe house in LA is there. If I remember correctly, it's still there. So Union Station is behind this apartment complex here. Hey, where you at, fool? You, you working? Where you at, fool? One, uh, one dude I know right here. Though watches the streams he works right here hey if you if you're working hit us with the flashlight hit us with the beam so Dodger Stadium is back there damn that's a big that's a long distance 
Let's see if we can get the scope. So Union Station, a big ass gondola. It's basically going to go. Man, that's a pretty, that's a pretty big project. Not. It's not close at all. That's a long way for a gondola. What do you guys think, dude? You guys against it or for it? No, how just breathing possible uh gratification. I guess people are against the, the the project itself is a pain in the ass. I need to cut four three four three four flights at second custody. But I don't know, I don't think it's a bad idea actually. Is it gonna be a pain in the ass when they you know the construction? The construction and all that shit, the delays are gonna traffic is gonna be a pain in the ass. Uh, I guess it's so people will take the train to the train station or take the bus there and then go to Dodger Stadium. I don't know, LA is a car city, dude, so I don't think it would really help with the traffic to the games. But it would, I guess it'd be kind of cool because if it's a gondola, it's only gonna have like a few st stops along the way. It'll probably only have like t one or two stops, and then the rest is just suspended in the air. I don't know. I think it might be a actually it might be a pretty cool idea, bro. Trying to get it to see Dodger Stadium is up there. Look at those trees are. Look at that stadium. Look at those trees. That's where Dodger Stadium is. It's pretty big. Pretty long distance. These stairs right here. I don't know why these aren't that po more popular. What do they call? That's not Angels Flight. Angels Flight's in downtown. This one is called. I forgot what it's called. There's a little mini park to the left. There's a mini park right here to the left, and then there's uh, these stairs. It's like a, they're colorful. People can exercise right here. I think it's just because they only go up to like a little neighborhood right here. I thought when they built them that maybe they are, dude. I don't come down here during the day, so I'm not sure. But I thought when they built them that it'd be a spot where a, a lot of people come to exercise. That's how did we have our vote? Yes or no? Vote yes for the gondola. Y for yes. N for no. Let's give Frank McCord a piece of our mind. Y for yes. N for fuck no. What do you guys think? You guys want a gondola? Yes or no? Let's have a vote. We'll decide. We'll decide, dude. This is just basically a poll. We 
We've got enough people here. Get the overall feeling here. Boo, no, no, oh, oh, no. 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 Yes, yes, no, no. No, I said a lot of no's. Starters, yes. No, 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 no. F, no, no, no. F, no, fuck no. Fuck no. That's it, McCourt. Put your checkbook away. The people have voted. Fuck your gondola and your little fucking pet project. Your little, what do they call it? Your little billionaire vanity project. Okay, I've changed my mind. I'm a man of the people. People vote. Fuck Frank McCourt and his little vanity project. Gondola to nowhere. Who's it even going to help? It's just going to bring traffic. What if it goes over budget? Fuck you, Frank McCourt. People have voted, man. Nah. I still think it's not, not a bad idea. <laughs> if he pays for it and everything, as long as the taxpayers don't pay for it, I mean, it would only help, but it does seem kind of stupid. Like, now we black hoodie, black pants, black shoes. Continuing eastbound through the school. Let me get my first unit. One east of Hamburg. All right, this is out of foothill. Um, but it's like, how many people would actually use it? Nobody goes on the fucking trains. LA is a car city. It always has been. It always will be. No one's like, oh, let's go to the Dodger game. Let me take this hour and a half train ride through these mazes of trains from my house. I want to go sit down for fucking three hours and then travel for another three and a half hours on the trains. And it's a go from 6300 Buffalo Boulevard. There'd be some people that take it, but I don't think it would really Long, help. White hair, black jacket with no hoods or pants, lasting possibly for traffic or anything. Northwest towards Balboa. Weapon uses a knife and a metal pipe. Knife is in custody. This information is sent 269. I think the people that actually use the train by choice are very little. 2017 for the cost three calling identified. Very small amount. Yeah. Most people that use the trains are, unless you have like some sweet ass line that pu pu pulls up right in front of your house and you just take one bus or one train and you get to your job. Like, some people do that because it's just more convenient. But most people that take the train is because they don't have other transportation methods. Again, let me just get a perimeter. Mm -hmm. One block east from Bolivia and Amboy. Watch one of them cut off and watch one of them. Watch five units cut off and Robert Station upon completion recalls from Eddie. It caught me by surprise when I said no, gondola. I was like, gondola? I'm picturing uh, canals, dude. Venice, Venice, Italy. I'm picturing a dude with a black and white striped shirt and a long mustache rowing, rowing in his gondola with Kanye West in the back getting head. That's what I picture when I think of gondolas. 77 units cut off. units cut off. So this is the future of this area. Do you see these big ass uh, buildings now leasing? This is another one that's coming here in this big old lot. 
So all of this, all this area here, there's a lot of like uh, in Chinatown, a lot of warehouses. Or, there's little small businesses, but it's only like one story. It's stuff that was like these buildings right here. Look, shout out to the Homeboy Bakery. These are newer, but in this area, bro, there's just the land is worth too much money. Five, two, three, show me code six in the area. Like these businesses right here, like this is old school. These are actually kind of big, but there's a lot of stuff that's just small, like one story stuff. That's just not not making a good return on the land investment, dude. They tear this shit down, they build something here like 12 stories high. Like this shopping center right here. This is like a developer's wet dream, dude. They just see this. They're, they're like, all right, 100 by 80 feet. Uh, townhomes, 180 uh, feet. I think that's uh, 314 townhomes. 314 times nine hundred thousand dollars. This is this used to be my uh, ex wife's my ex wife's favorite restaurant. I don't know why. The food wasn't that good. But she she just really liked the restaurant for some reason. Dude, please tell me they sell those t-shirts. Please tell me they sell that t-shirt, dude. If these guys don't sell this t-shirt, they're fucking sleeping on some money, dude. Patent that and print the shirts. Shirts, bumper stickers, beer koozies. You guys are sleeping on some good money, dude. What kind of page she's complaining about? What would the what would the name of what would the name of their second restaurant be called? <laughs> <laughs> this is out of foothill. This car right here. See, like all this stuff, man. It's like it's cool. I like stuff like this. It's cool, old school. Like I like that. It's like a time capsule here. And some of this stuff, like if you go in some of these restaurants, you go inside, the interior looks like it's. It's all dusty, like from 1985. Like they still got dust from the 80s in there. No, it, it's not dirty or anything. But you know, it's those old school vibes where the benches and the seats, everything. It's old vinyl. Oh fuck! This cat, cat scared the shit out of me. Damn, dude, that dude's fast. I've seen him up the corner of my eye. Last time, there, there's coyotes that come down here. Last one, one caught an opossum. We got it on stream. This I want to try. I haven't been here. Philip is it pronounced Philippe or Philip? The original French dip sandwich right here, dude. Street. This has been here since early 1900s, dude. The original here. French dips. They invented the French dip. French dip sandwiches. Since 19... Does that shit say 1908? Dude, I'm always surprised when I see that, dude. I think it was 1908 or 1906. Damn. 
Over a hundred years? Yeah, hundredth anniversary. Dude, they got their own street sign, huh? One block Philippe, the original, hundredth anniversary, 1908 to 2008. It's well past a hundred years. Been dipping in that au jus. Is that what they call it? Au jus. One block east from Bolita and Amboy. Two blocks north just over the school. Northeast corner of Bolita and Amboy. Hey, where you at, fool? They left the location approximately 2 15 hours. Code 2 incident 300. Have you guys tried that place? Is it good? School property there. Oh, we're gonna beam? <laughs> oh, there you go. Look, dude. What's up? <laughs> Light show, dude. Hey. Shine, shine red if you want the gondola. Shine blue if you don't want the gondola. Think about it, dude. You want the gondola? Flash red. No gondola, flash blue. Oh, well, it's your time to vote. No vote. Oh, it's gonna stop in the street here. Can we vote? No answer? All right, maybe that was, it wasn't it. Maybe that wasn't a light signal for us. We'll catch you on the rebound, eh? Two block Garper and Amboy. Roll. Seven Frank. Seven seven two three two nine four. What's up, man? Checking our streets. Yeah, what's up, bro? Seven seven six nine four zero zero Los Angeles. Radar shift. I'm Ryan. Ryan, right? Yeah, I remember. I thought your name was Brian. What's up? Jeremy. Jeremy. What's up, bro? I'm just looking for calls. Yeah. You guys on your street? Okay. Yeah. You guys busy? I mean, yeah. it's, busy it's, it's been quiet, bro. Yeah. Well, what do you? We we're asking you to vote on the gondola, red. Oh. For the gondola, oh. yes or no? Uh, gondola? Why not? Yeah, go to the gondola. Yeah? yeah. You like it? I thought it wasn't a bad idea. Yeah, not too shabby. You know, something to do when it's dead out here. Is no, the gon that they're gonna build, you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh, they're gonna build a gondola? Yeah, th that billboard right there on the, on the gas station, it says vote no for the gondola. They wanna oh. build it from Union Station to Dodger Stadium. Like a gondola on a cable. Oh, oh, oh on a cable. Oh. And they're fighting it, people don't want it. Yeah, what do you guys I, think? I could fly my drone next to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that ain't too bad. It'd be suck, I guess, during the project, but I think, um, but it, I mean, okay, it's dead out here. You don't want to be here. Yeah. But that'd be, it'd be, it'd be cool. Something different. But they don't want it because the traffic is going to cost like $500 yeah. million. Dollars. And who's actually going to use it to go to the Dodger Stadium, you know? Nobody. But honestly, to take the train? There's a lot of fucking traffic. Like, I mean, the, I'm surprised the that day. people either they walk from Dodger Stadium mm -hmm. to the, uh, station? Yeah. I'm surprised how many people they do after the games. Yeah. A lot of people come. People. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like thousands? Like mm, you think thousands? I mean, uh, there could uh, be. Yeah, I mean, there could like, be a couple. I, 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 uh, like we last saw yeah. there. Uh, I mean, because sometimes you're wondering, like, are you for real? Like, are you walking all the way from the Dodger Stadium? Is it far from here uh, near, to here? It like yeah, it's not close. Yeah, you know, it's right there on the hill. It's a little mission. They always. They're going back home, right? We see what that building is over there? Yeah. They land on top of that building over there for gas. Mm -hmm. And they land behind the home us base over there. there. Yeah. To get gas. So they, they refuel where? Everywhere. 
by the city hall? Oh, the flat one right there. Yeah. They always fly either behind it or on top of that shit. And that's where they refuel? They're making the loop. They're coming back from a call. Yeah. You guys work the graveyard? Oh, yeah. we're graveyard. All right, man. Nice That's to meet really you. Good. You guys take care. Bye. We're always here. Yeah. I'll bring. Right. Uh, What's up with that Philippe uh, French dip? Is it good? Well, they've been here forever. Yeah. I know. I never good, tried it. You guys recommended it? The last time I heard, there was a shitload of rats in that fucking. <laughs> I don't know. But that was like years ago. But it's supposed to be good. That was in 1928. Yeah. Uh, so they're famous for like their double dip. So they dip okay. the bread yeah. in like one time. But if you add, if you want your sandwich a little bit more moist, they'll dip, dip it again. I want to try it, but try it you guys it's aren't talking me into it, bro. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, I'll try it out this time. All right, man. Later, bro. Right, man. See ya. Take care, bro. Driver, real quick. Where is uh, where's the vehicle? You said if I had to be on where you at, fool? Uh, you're gonna see our uh, shock five six five. Okay, so my car with the uh, the driver's side and passenger side door open. Terrified. Double dip, huh? Well, they didn't. They didn't, they they didn't talk me into getting it. Okay. Home of the French dip. Five eight one seven. Let's go check on the backup. Switch to Valley Bureau ten one. Actually, I think like every person that I've ever asked, like, is it good? They're like, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Everyone says the same thing. Oh, it's been there a hundred years. It's all right. Oh, we got some. Hey, Julie B., thank you for the memberships. And overall tremendousness. So I learned something new right now. The, Rogers, the helicopters refuel right there on, on another building. Uh, the That's what he said. Six, that, they, nine, six, seven, eight, 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 that they refuel on, on, on a building and then their home base. I, I would think that they would have a fuel at their home base. I forgot what the name of that building is. It's over by the river, but LA River is where they keep the, the helicopters. LAPD helicopters on standby. That's where that one was going. Four twenty squared. So they double dip, huh? What are other things that double dip? The Bank of America right here. The Chinatown Bank of America. Check out the architecture. There was a, we thought we saw some movement here by 13223 Galena, just just north of us, we're like, we're right here, if you see our, if you see our lights. This is what a Bank of America in Chinatown looks like. And this is what. 
Some, some guy breaking rocks in front of the Chinatown Bank of America looks like. We had an archaeologist. There is a motion light on the uh, on the west side of that uh, yellow house there, and every time I light gets it, it flickers on and off. What do you think this guy's up to? Archaeology? Did he find another little alien body? Oh. That sounds like he's making a prison so shake. The suspect is not at the location. The PR is standing by on Wilson next to her. Away from the civilian additional civilian stand. Three, two, five. If you wake up when you pass by in the morning, there's going to be like this beautiful carved painting there. I respond to Amboy and Glade at the room. the supervisor. It's probably like a carved, a photorealistic painting of downtown when you wake up in the morning. No, wake up in the morning. Have you ever talked to Highland and Adam? Or we cancel. Have you ever talked to Highland and Adam? Or we cancel. Gotcha. Drill 30, cancel response to Highland and Adam. Don't do much. Like uh, black on my shoes with the white trimming on the bottom and black on the top. A lot of old school little buildings like like this. Jewelry shops. We do income tax up here. Grand opening. Hak Hang Sheng Jewelers. But there's a twenty seventy one, twenty seventy one year. Oh, there's a Home reader up there? Now, a trespass suspect there now. See the PR inside the parking lot. We'll direct to the three suspects. Suspect three male Asians. Go further. It's not put chance in that. Lamb's design. 2042. Grand opening. 2871, Roger. Well, the sign does look kind of new. Oh, you still find the code 6 Charles 15th and 4th Ave. Cross suspect. Dude, I thought that jewelry store was like one of those jewelry stores been there since the 70s. Roger, 31MP301, 31MP301, your status. Hey, Southeast Phoenix, battery suspect there now, 242 East 93rd Street, suspect Mel Blanc, 2324 years, wearing a white shirt and jeans, it's good to 334 and RD1823. Hey, Julie B, thanks again. Thanks for the memberships. Thank you, Nate Roger. And thank you to Don Francisco. Jefferson and Flower. Let's go towards okay, this. Okay, Roger. Uh, I'm putting out that you get the mission to respond and you're coming to uh, your location with a new person. Okay, but time max for 79. 7th and Flower. 30 years, my shirt, 390, close to 335. RG7249, 
One year seven. On Tuesdays, we got to keep our expectations a little low. I'm not going to lie to you and be like, don't stop watching. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, you really do never know what's going to happen. Some of the crazy shit we have ever seen is happens at the oddest times. But in general, it's Friday and Saturday nights. The, the calls don't stop. After women go to Okay, Roger, that's your question. Gotta switch back. Third, at the Ralph in the parking lot, Sissick is a female black, black sweater, gray sweatpants, carrying a duffel bag. What's up, casual flipper? Because into the Paris vehicle, appear on the Sissick. At the location code 2 and 10 3 for 1 or D 2017. Tony Supervisor for D, that's what I'm call it, and that's fine. Oh, there goes the burn trash can. I'll let you do Roger. Could this be our suspect we're going through the rubble? Yeah, I'm and talk to her to the American group business in the back alley. So, you know, number one, the Doc Mercedes SUV. Newcomer Tuesday, Going through the rubble of the burn trash can? Oh, now we got. Dude, this dude's walking like a straight up zombie. He was. He was walking like with two arms in the front like a zombie. Or maybe it just looked like that. And this is why there's a lot of vehicles with pedestrians. Avenue incident 1826. At least that guy's wearing a white shirt. A lot of times you see people and they're wearing like black. They wear like the exact same color as the street, dude. Asphalt gray. At nighttime on a dark street. Appreciate your help. No worries. Hey, sir, you can check it in with you. Um, on the camera now, if you can just a couple minutes, I'll let you know if I have a update. Any federal units on the signal line, so 369-Mercer, Cotinside 3301, and 449, suspect there now, Q1 and Tugford, 3420-1685. Street, like if you go to Skid Row, you see a lot of the people on, on uh, wheelchairs. They wear like a safety reflective vest. And some of them have like a little flag on the back that glows in the dark. They're like 3M stuff. Or they'll have a lot of reflector things on their 
chair. Some of them, not everybody. But they need it, especially in, in Skid Row, they turn off the lights at night so people can sleep. It's either that or everyone uh, steals the copper wires for the lights. I think it's so people can sleep. Or they can encourage people to sleep. Dude, I remember dur during the uh, looting, they hit that Walgreens. I remember all these kids just running out with fucking bottles. This is nothing. Oh, someone breaking into the Magic Castle? That would be magical. That'd be a show. Section 859. Six forty three, Holly, call Hollywood Walk. So we can't even go through. You wanna see a staple center? I twenty nine, one twenty nine, I know. I'm gonna ninety. We'll show you the staple center. It's late anyways. I was gonna say we can go towards Hollywood to see if that call comes out. It's already gonna be three. I think I'm gonna cut it off like in fifteen minutes. Is it anyone's first time watching? Only on Pop Thirty Radio Tech with Paul. Just show an incident three five two. Jefferson. How long have you uh, has have you been watching? When did you first discover this gem of entertainment? Roger, you said Grand and Jefferson. We went to Skid Row earlier. First timer, Tony M. Thanks for watching. Three seventy nine RD nine fifty nine. Three seventy nine. Can you have a Spanish unit respond to that location? To meet with the RO for a possible having for A few months. A few months. Hurricanes. Through Jeremy. Through Jeremy, and you're already a member three weeks ago? For a female, approximately 28 years of age, conscious breathing. Oh, she was in the Oh, what? Low cost. For a female, approximately. See, we should have went to Hollywood. Can I ask you need to respond to that location? Hold on. Meet with the RO for a possible unreported stolen. Sonia Peterson, I like your style. Can I get an RA to my location at Hollywood and Wilcox for a female, approximately 28 years of age, conscious breathing. Uh, she was pistol whipped in the face. Pistol whipped in the face? All right, there goes the Staples Center. Uh, Crypto.com Arena, we're leaving. We're going to go to Hollywood and Wilcox. Roger. Do you have a plate for the vehicle? A woman was pissed away. 
Public G28, standby for additional. Pitch hit, three cut. Pistol whipped, I think he's in the face. Could be a white Kia Sorento. 25, 415 man with a gun, 939 Pine Grove Avenue. 939 Pine Grove Avenue, detects 911. Suspect like is a male unknown wearing a black shirt. And pants, armed with a gun in the PR's backyard. Let's go 3 incident, 358 RD 1119. We're not very close, but let's go check this out. We're Colorado, we're on a Tuesday night, who would pistol whip? Who would pistol whip a woman at three in the morning on a Tuesday? Okay, we're gonna find out. Code two, that's at three five one RD six four six. Six six forty three R notified. I've been watching for two months. Any area next to on northeast frequency for 14 miles of the gun, 939 Pine Grove Avenue. Oh, you watch me. Adam 61, you can send us a trespass. So, really, no new no new on? viewers right here. Uh, very cheap. Uh, we're trying to fill a perfect right now. Not respond. many first timers. Huh? Very team, Roger. Oh no, we Seven found a virgin. Ross McDonald? McDonald? Ross 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 McDonald?
Well, you never know. Now, 150 is requesting two additional outside units for a photo perimeter. Thank you for that super chat, but you never know these days, man. There's no fucking morals or honor. They never have said there's no honor amongst thieves. There's no morals or honor. Like, dude, you do see that a lot of fucking dudes beat up girls. But also, sometimes a lot of girls are fucking wild now, dude. They're over. They're over there fucking shooting guys. Doing this shit, I've learned to not judge, not judge, prejudge like how things happen. You know. Unless we see it, you see it with your eyes. You never know. What if you had your gun on you and someone attacked you with something and you pull it out? Maybe that was the best option you had is to hit them in the face with the gun instead of shooting them. What if they're beating you with the spike bat like the guy from uh, Walking Dead? Avenue, 4679, uh, they finally got a good call, so it's time to play the intro song. Los Angeles, California. 465 square miles of constantly interfacing humanity. The story you are about to see is true. Hey, give me a back up an airship. Back up on the air unit and a supervisor. And Chloe's in pursuit of 187 suspect. Still firing rounds at officers. Two, you already told us, Ellen. The hell? You seen that guy on the right? He was flashing a, a flashlight on the freeway. Nine, nine, four. Seven, three, three, Whittier. That's uh, that's the intro song, but I don't play. Eight, forty-five, Roger. I forget to play it. All you 
guy is just right. have sleeping problems? Let's talk. Are you having trouble sleeping? Is that why you watch? It's for information, the MDC will be going, or correction, communications will be going down to mode 2. Can't sleep at no, night. Try AXN. What's that shit called? Melatonin. I'm going to start selling you guys supplements like Alex Jones. They don't want you. They don't want you to sleep. It's all planned. It's an operation. They've been having this. In, they've been doing this. for. They've been planning this for 25 years. The plan's finally going into action. What you need is some of this Patriot Melatonin. Having trouble sleeping, you need some of this Viagra. Half Viagra, half melatonin, half iodine, collodial silver. Winter green, all natural and natural ingredients. Now let's go. I need 923 in the victory unit to watch. If you want to fight back against the fucking resistance. <laughs> You want to fight back against the resistance? You're gonna need to get your rest. So buy this okay. AXN News melatonin. Source from the finest melatonin plants in the world. Three twenty-one. Two forty-five. Forty-nine ninety-nine. Normally one hundred and seventeen dollars. We're headed over to Hollywood and Wilcox. Be on the lookout for black helicopters. Did we pass Hollywood and Wilcox? No, we didn't. Right up ahead. Glitching out our maps. Is someone juggling over here? What the fuck? This does not look like a scene of a pistol whipping, dude. There's a juggler in the road. Oh, it's this guy again. 7 8 17, 20 minutes. <laughs> the PR advice, you already met with PD and created an incident. Look You're at this guy, he's a corporate shill. It's the corporate takeover. There's no pistol whipping going on here. That guy has those little, I don't even know what you call that, those light strings. I don't think he's juggling, he's just swinging around these little strings that have lights on them. And they, uh, they have like these corporate logos on them for some reason. Like if you swing a middle watch, you'll see it, it's like the Google logo, the Netflix logo. 
McDonald's. Roger. Roger. Definitely an M MK Ultra mind puppet. Three twenty, Roger. <laughs> Look, Oreo. Three twenty, Roger. Three twenty, Roger. See what it says there. Does he take requests? Hey, do you have Ford? I think he does have YouTube. Okay, I guess there is a, a talent. There is an art and a talent to swinging those things around. Oh, <laughs> Last time I thought he just kind of spin them in it. They showed logos. There is a technique to this, dude. I couldn't do this. It's like baton twirling. No oh, he's got the oh, Ferrari the logo. logo. Instagram logo. Lane Esco 4930 Pine Grove Avenue and open until 14 months ago. Open on 911 on 90 Grove. They have an officer available. They're going to attempt to find someone to come and open the school. The system's going to be going down at 0, 3, 30 hours. There'll be no um, MDC uses after that point. 2071 Roger, I'm here on Gramercy Drive. And um, I'm almost done with this call, so I'm going to go ahead and just call right I've seen him before, and I thought it was just like some trick to like, uh, I guess. I don't know if he does it for donations or what. You can send me a call and park you. So I've had but I thought he was just spinning something. It was like something you just buy and you spin around and it automatically does the logo. It kind of does do that, but there's a skill and technique to them. They'd probably be really, really good at jump rope. How much? <laughs> Thank you, Tricky Ricky, for the donation. How much math do you think the sign dude is on to spin at 3:15 a.m.? Hmm. I think you're judging. I think you're judging. Are we not all insomniacs? Are we not all out at this time of night? Are we not up? Maybe the guy's just a nocturnal beast. He refuses to live by society's norms. That's what that whole thing is about, those corporate logos. It's great. The PR is pulling back. It's really a rebellion against corporate logos and the control. What he's saying when he's spinning those logos around, he's saying, hey, you guys don't control me. In Olympic for, uh, the mainstream does not influence nor control me. I'm a free spirit. 3.15 in the morning, I do what I want. Come on, 
what you really want, want, what you want, what you want, do you really want, want? Oh, super chat. Oh, Brandy Woods. Brandy Woods going to keep us out the hood. Hey, thank you very much, Brandy Woods. For keeping us out the hoods. Thank you very much for that super chat. Alright, good night. I was getting ready to end it. Hey, thank you, Brandy Wiz. We won't end it right away. We'll stay like 10 minutes. It'd be real to end it right now. Alright, let's go see what this guy's rebelling against. Let's see if the light show's still going. I don't know. The guy seems pretty, like, tame. He doesn't look like he's on something. If he is, he knows the appropriate dose. Is he just walking around doing that? Most of the dudes you see where you're like, oh, no, this guy's met Dallas. There was another guy right now that was walking down the street hitting every tree and every tree and pole with a stick. That guy's met them. Oh, that's the guy. Oh fuck, get away from my car. Oh, he inspired this guy. See this guy's a extrovert, an outcast, performer, dude, green hair. He's just different. I'm different, fool. I'm different. I'm different. Maybe German. Maybe European, actually. Incoming calls. Oh, there's no further. Oh, fuck. Okay, nice. Oh, look. We got stick guy versus light guy. That other dude had a stick banging on stuff. Still at the location attempting to break into the vehicle. Additional. Incident 341. What does it do with the stick? He's about to come out this store right now. He's wilding out. Did he just go in there and take something? See the dude on the at the light crossing. He has a stick, like a baton, but he's hitting shit. Netflix. This guy's just putting on the show. Did I got money. Oh, YouTube. Nice. Can you put up my channel in there? Let me get some money. Hey, bro. Performance. What's up, man? Thank you, dude. You're here every night? What's your name? Mason. Mason? All right. Yeah. I'll see you, man. Take care. That's Mason. He's got a dream he's chasing. to give him an AXN News hat for promotion. He didn't look like he was amped up for an interview. He wanted to go back to spinning. He wanted to go right back to spinning. Roger. You're getting a workout, dude. You're sweaty. Oh, fuck. Here comes pole guy again. See, Mason's cool. This other guy's fucking... Oh, very cool. He's about to cause some damage. Oh, fuck. He's going to be behind my car. Are you, sir? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone's taking off. He's behind his car. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Come <laughs> I do ran the light too. I told you this dude with the pole, man. <laughs> fucking look like Charles Manson with the fucking aluminum pole. 
Did the other car run the red light? They were in a convertible, so they were like, fuck that shit. My back window broken. There he is. This dude's on one. This guy's on one. He's got that pole. He's chasing cars with that pole. Here he comes. Ah. Don't hit my car. Charles Manson over here. dressed as a pumpkin over here. What the fuck is going on here? All right, I took the first group in at 11136. Both this is street suspect in the rear yard. I think the bride suspect is a male. The white beast and I attach her bike. Pants. It's Christian. They're calling pants. It's Christian. It says we're going to fire party 1585. Let's see, dude. I give, uh... I give a 50% chance that someone's, he's going to do something where someone's going to call the cops. I think he was going, because there were some dudes next to me in a convertible, and I think he, I don't know, something they did or said pissed him off. He started chasing him. I was right next to him. I have, uh, I'm not going to get my fucking car fucking messed up. What is there a possible suspect inside the school? Hey, thanks again, Brandy Woods. LAPD flew over. I seen him, I was hoping that they were gonna go to a call. There we go. Now I'm finishing up these snacks that I got. Courtesy of Kimothy. A little Hawaiian, an Hawaiian angel. Send me some guava Hawaiian biscuits. Made in Hawaii. Additional incident for L7. You went 26 Street, Monarch Commons, Cup 2, 387, already saying that in, in Hawaii, um, people mm -hmm. haven't been, been drinking the water in some places. But they have been showering because the water is contaminated with the asbestos and a lot of chemicals from the fires. So did you see you have the principal respond east or west? That people shower with, I never heard of that. They shower with these like shower bags. And I guess, I don't know who would give them FEMA maybe? Or maybe just Hawaii has some. And their emergency supplies, they have like shower bags. You gotta ration the water. And certain, uh, I guess, the reservoirs that are close to the fires, they're barely gonna clear them out. I think they already said that one was good, but people still don't want to use it. They don't trust it. I mean, I wouldn't either. Any mission unit, Amber's overdose, 9526, Boulevard, Boulevard, Coast View, 0386, RB9262. I'm gonna show Mason puts on for us here. Anyway, I'm right in at 414, man. 1116, Winston, set up at Paradise Motel. Incident 328 and 3299 You wanna watch who? The light man? Light show Mason or a metal pole maniac? Coaches, marriage. Sugar daddies. Mama. 
Life couch? Life coach or life couch? I don't know which one would be better, dude. That sounds like a bit, dude. Like, we're going in a coach too, and approximately ten. Of someone sign, goes to see a life coach, but they thought they were getting a life couch. What would you guys take, a life coach or a life couch? Like a modern Charles Manson out here. Five seven other six three two one Maryland Drive, consent three eight eight thirty seven thirty two. All right, let's go. Let's. Are you going to the Did they get? I'll go see if we see you. What's a good nickname for that guy? Sorry, my brain's not working anymore. I mean, it already has trouble thinking of stuff. Blame it on my age. Blame it on COVID. I don't know. I'm very forgetful. Dude, when my mom got COVID after COVID, or with this green clearing, her memory is awful, dude. I hope it's just temporary. But she forgets so much stuff, dude. All of a sudden, she just like goes right after. Forty four twenty two Mary Allen Avenue. They're unable to make entry. No one's answering the door. Let's see, old man. He is walking this way. If we just roll down the window, we should hear him clanking. If you hear the sound of metal clinking. <coughs> Dear, are you clear? When I mind them, I have another one ready. Holds my mom. She's taken, bro. She's taken. That's how old she is. Taken. Years old. Southwest, South Traffic Unit. This will be in mode 2 for approximately 2 hours starting at 0, 0330 hours. Uh, it could just be a coincidence, but... I know that's just one of the side effects for certain people. They say the brain fog and yeah, memory loss. For me, it fucked up my breathing for a long time. <clears throat> It took like, dude, it took a while, man. <clears throat> it took at least like a year and some change to feel better. I think that's because I wasn't really like, actually, no, I was exercising. I was walking a lot, bro. During COVID, I walked more than I walk now because I was doing all those protests and going to all those rallies. I was streaming out on the streets. Seems like a lot of the COVID like uh, side effects are, they seem to be temporary for a lot of people. I lost, what did I lose? My smell. The second time I got COVID, I lost my fucking smell. That was weird as shit. 
because I didn't notice it. You know, you don't really notice stuff, right? You smell stuff. You only smell the stuff. What do you say you smell? You only notice a change in smell. Okay. So unless you're actively, like, trying to smell stuff, you need to smell something like fire or something strong, like flowers or perfume or something to notice it. Was it my, dude, I can't remember. Was it my taste or my smell? It was my smell. It was my smell, yeah. Because I remember thinking, dude, if it was my taste, if you had no taste buds, I was like, that'd be awful. That'd be horrible to have no taste buds for the rest of your life. The smell was bad, too, but it was like, yeah, I remember thinking, like, well, fuck, I'm fucked if there's a fire. What if the house is on fire, dude? I'm not going to smell it. Better hope that alarm is working. I can change the battery since 1989 on that shit, dude. Just about before zero three thirty hours. But it lasted like a couple weeks. And then it started coming back. It has, it's not the same, though. It's definitely not the same. But I can smell it. Stuff like body wash and stuff, like all that stuff that would smell really strong. Like, now I gotta take a big old whiff to just get the regular scent of it. Oh shit. Dude, another machete, Freddy? How many fucking guys is there walking on the streets with machetes, bro? Are they just handing out machetes? Let's just say I'll, I'll keep my distance. Is it at the 101 for sure? Is it where they're Roger. responding from? Well, someone got shot out of Newton. A shooting out of Newton. All right, we're uh, three minutes, 1.6 miles away from this call. From Machete Mike. No, but there's been so many machete. Remember, Jeremy went to one where he got stopped right in traffic, right where that guy had the machete. Thank God he was just out of it. He wasn't really attacking people. 
a lot of them people aren't they're just out of their mind and they're doing like tai chi or some shit with their machetes Sometimes you think people are harmless and then they'll flip. They can flip in a second. Remind me and I'll tell I'll tell you a story that happened the other day that was crazy. Kinda crazy. Some dude that flipped out. And then I went to one where there was a machete and it was during the daytime while I was working. It was like two guys fighting and one guy allegedly pulled out a gun and another guy pulled out a machete or vice versa. And it was a whole ordeal, bro. helicopters, everything. Was in use, was, a, was an unknown caliber handgun, still outstanding. Information incident 393. Damn, 101 at 4th Street. Anything you know as far Paramount as Studios to the left. Paramount 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 Studios to the left. Subject of the daughter of female pictures. white, 30 years, wearing a t shirt and jeans, it's code 2, incident 403, and RG 2196. To the left, white t-shirt. That was a white male, right? Tall white male. I last missed a living room to respond. Did you say white? Did I say white t-shirt? One. I said zero two six zero. Let me see. This guy is white t-shirt. A little fidgety. Like a lot of people on these streets, dude. Pretty fidgety. I do not see no signs of a machete. At least he's an expert at stashing it in his jeans. Sir. Is that a machete in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? Roger, thank you. I don't know. He has a little fidgety, but he doesn't look like he's a... A machete-carrying kind of guy. In a hallway, I know the, the Pope Pope. Like 1629 Schrader. Pulling up. Don't worry, I'm already on scene. Black and white shoes. This is broken to a black SUV parked on the street next to the Husky store. Sources are now walking southbound straight or towards the park. This is code 2 and 4 Already on scene, officer. We've cleared it. We've cleared it. 97, Marty, 1871. Machete Mario. 
comic book character. Sharp Tweak. Sharp Tweak, the new super villain. Hey, Central Unit 311, man. 236 South Los Angeles, South and South Park, 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 Machete McPeterson anywhere. The information mode 2 status, Central Unit 6 is at mode 2 status. I can't follow your transmissions to your RQ. Oh, the cops are canvassing the area. Central Unit 3 is at 363. If I didn't find them, you're not going to find them, officer. How could we lure him out, dude? How about we uh, put a pile of bamboo in the middle of the street? We need something that a man with a machete could not pass up. Anyway, Unit 4415, the man at the Paradise Motel, 1116 West Vincent, Incident 328, Nardi 219, identify. Making a 13 standby. For information only, Incident 405. What would be irresistible to a man with a machete? 639 North Broadway on the first floor parking structure. Suspects are two males, possibly Hispanic, wearing dark clothing. Code 2 and 412 are 111. Me? I need North East Unit caller complaint. 5952 Center. Incident 411 and RD 1139. Me? Just standing in the street. Here you go. We had movement to the rear of a house, one west of the corner. Do you have that information? Some wood, some real thick vines. Yeah, Checking that uh, location out. There are a couple chicken coops uh, on that property in the area. I think some bamboo, dude. Just a nice little pile of Airbnb green bamboo. It's got to be green, not the dry one, but the green one. The suspect is not walking to Hong Kong Field on Sunset. The suspect vehicle is Maroon SUV parked on trailer near Business Hustler with a broken window. Additional code to it. Sierra Texan I will. suspect is not walking to Hong Kong Field on Sunset. The suspect vehicle is Maroon SUV parked on trailer near Business Hustler with a broken window. Additional code to it. Lieutenant Park Hunter. Next to Hustler with the broken window? Alright, this is going to be the last call. And we're, are we even close enough to the Hustler? Cause the what do you mean? I uh, direct you guys to. That's the only thing. Let's see. Roger, sir. Where is the location of that? Alright, 
this is going to be our f countdown. Of, uh, I'll be back Thursday. Thursday. Five year PS Rich Me. Yeah, I could, uh, I could uh, give you a little bit better direction for that, uh, for that track here. Okay, I'll watch for Okay, crush. Supervisor on the code 37, Chevron gas station for going on King. There's a cut hedge back there. <laughs> or if that dude comes out and it's a guy in an Edward Scissor Hands costume. Uh, CP, K9, uh, we're going to pull off for a back on the 77. We'll be with you in one second. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The license plate is 5 John Mary 591. He was just one only northbound. I want you to do the license plate is 5 Young John Mary 591. You just want only North. Uh, we're going to the suspect that they're looking for, I think, for an assault over here by the Hustler store on Hollywood. Uh, I'm not sure what happened. But they're saying the suspect is parked down the street and he has a broken window. I think it was a suspect's car. That's what it sounded like. But he has a broken window. He or she. Roger, so we got eyes on it. On a maroon SUV, I believe. Okay, white dog. K9 ready to go. Just uh, to what do you say minivan? Uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know the, the details, but I know the place where we're going. They're going to take a look at it. We'll find out. We'll do it. Hey, thanks again, uh, Brandy Woods. Hey, thanks again, Brandy. Thanks to everybody. Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. Let's just start keeping a log of all the machete calls. You know what I want people to scream yeah, for? If you, if we ever hear a funny radio call, please us screen record it, or anything that's really funny, but especially like the radio calls, because sometimes you get some funny ones. If I would have been recording them, keeping track of them, I would have had a montage. Enough for a viral video. Machete's a pretty, a pretty strong weapon to carry. Now. Machete, Machete, 
My dad used to keep a machete. Hey, used to keep it behind the cab of the truck, but he needed it for work. But I think that was his go-to. Like, hey, someone fucks with me, you pull out the machete, but it's like... And then what? Chop them into a hundred pieces and go on a bloody massacre rampage? Well, let's start with the little mini Dodgers baseball bat or something. I always start with some pepper spray or a little mini Dodger bat. Alright, full size bat. Full size bat to the lower part of the body. So, a little Charlie horse. Once you get that machete out, dude. <laughs> Once you swing that shit, there's no turning back. Dude, he's got Hugh Hefner's robe. Little red riding hood over here. Was it on the other side of one and one the unit, USCFC hospital for 10th investigation and current already 20. Might have dipped out. That's on the other side. Any Hollywood unit. Suspect. 2011 North Highland, suspect is a male black. No further description and a female black, no further description. Attempted to gain into PRC vehicle grade test flight, but it's 0449 RD625. This is around here. No black. No further description. Anyone need a move? Any Hollywood unit. Anyone need to move a TV? We got TV transport. 2011 North Highland, suspect is a male black. No further description and a female black, no further description. 2011 North Highland. Two zero one one North Highland breaking into a Tesla. Two zero one one North Highland. Oh, it's right here. I'm sure, it's not related to the guy pushing a TV. That TV was broken. I'm never hiring that guy to move my TV. I like his work ethic. Either he's working very late or he's very early, dude. That kind of work ethic you go places. Smarter than you, but no one's working harder than you. How much to mount? For another, for another 25 bucks, you'll mount it.
hotel parking lot. It's probably theirs. Their phone probably died. You could probably open only open it through your phone. We're gonna lay low here. Let's see if the cops show up. Let's see what those people are up to. If they're thieves, they're horrible thieves. I don't think they're thieves, they're more like tweakers. Speaking of tweakers. One out of 61, you can send us a four five one. What is this one, Roger? Any one beginning, car strip driver. Correction, car strippers, suspect just left, 659 North Kingley Drive. Specific vehicle last seen northbound Melrose. Specific vehicle is a burgundy Toyota minivan and a license plate. Suspects were three male Hispanic with bandanas covering their face. Team picking a uh, part from my Toyota pickup truck with a camper shell and a license plate. Let's go to engine at 455 RD 2005. Car stripper. Southwest unit is battery suspect there now. 1692 West Jefferson Road. Our code 2 incident 453 RD 3G7. When I think of car strippers, that's not what I can think of. <laughs> I'm getting the camera ready just so in case we're going to jump out. Live episode of Cops here. What is this guy doing across the street? Changing his pants? There's guy a decoy? Oh yeah, of course, dude. Who needs pants? Three fifty-five in the morning. Who needs pants, dude? Pants are fucking overrated as shit. Really? really? Who needs boxers? Really? I think that's what's next. Boxers go down, do it behind them. Oh, did he just punch himself? Left hook. If those boxers go down, do it behind the bus bench, please. Did he just give himself a left hook? Let's go for an 
and let him information on Bring him to that 456. I need to know 35. 37, you know, but I have to identify. Alright, man, I don't think these guys are coming out. I don't think they're stealing shit, they're just fucking tweakers, man. 35 or 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, They'd have to be the dumbest fucking thieves ever. Yeah, they're, they're just another people like this, but you know what? <laughs> Bro. Man, we all witnessed the ghost here. That sounds like the screams of a ghost. I'm glad I don't believe in ghosts. Dude, she is screaming at the top of her fucking lungs. Dude, I have no idea where she's at, dude, because this shit echoes. I thought she was over here, but she might be over where I came from.
her last message was judgment will be heard so we'll leave that as our closing words for tonight judgment will be heard this guy's still over here breaking into Teslas shit what cops are like huh? who gives a shit Tesla, Schmesla. Is this the Tesla right here? This gray one? With the door open? And a dude passed out on the stairs? What the fuck? Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, man. I'm trying to be better with my language. If anyone knows any vocabulary tricks, Please, if you know a uh, substitute for fuck, let me know. Because I'd like to use it less. Okay. Instead of a 454, four, zero, four, two, What the f How about. Uh, what in tarnations? Down to repeat. What in tarnation is going on here? 1885. Shop number 8. One four five four. That's three, gotta be. It was four, a great three, Tesla, right? Based on additional, the state of the UC just occurred. One four seven one seven South Denver Avenue. Suspect vehicle is a white four door sedan. Let's see if I can reverse into this. Auto license plate. Flashing. Little spot here. Traveling directly behind is a vehicle taken southbound and to one forty ninth and to Figueroa. Suspects were four in total. The address was off. Let's see what we got here. This was the scene of those uh, balloon huffing Coachella people. Crazy. This is I park in this in this driveway to film something across the street. So we got uh, one guy doing a weird thing with his foot. Southwest Center, Battery, Southwest Center, now, 1693, West Jefferson Boulevard, Colton, Southwest, 5, 3, 33, 37. This guy's dreaming of, dreaming of the hokey pokey. I'm not sure if it's working, I don't think it went out. I believe this is the car here. There's someone in Roger. the, looks like a woman in the passenger side Hi. with the door open. So someone yeah, call this in and someone breaking in to a Tesla, but I think it's their Tesla. Good geofile. It's going to be our D13 zero nine Southwest Center Avenue 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 and then on the passenger side of that uh, blue truck. You put your right foot uh, in, you take your right foot out. Put your right foot on the ground and you shake it all about. See those, uh, three, uh, dark colored cars. You do the hokey and then, uh, smokey. A truck that's back in and and you turn on. yourself around. Uh, that we're walking around on the fence line as well. That's what it's all about.
Mm, he looks like he's all right. He got up. I was almost starting to get worried about him. He's moving. We're just stuck in a glitch. So the cops ain't even. Oh, the Tesla took off! Dude, while I was focusing over here, the Tesla took off and disappeared. Interesting. Maybe he wasn't connected to the Tesla. See, this is why I'm not a detective, dude. I mean, the Tesla was right there. The door was open right next to him. It was like a woman in the passenger seat. You're not supposed to stop right there. The call was for a gray Tesla. A man and a woman breaking okay, into a right Tesla. Right I don't know if they broke in. Dude. They might just be having a long night. Just one of those nights. Nah, he's not hurt. Already like five people have passed by him. He tried to get up a little while ago and like moved up. I think he just stuck Hollywood in a loop or something. He's also... Let's see what happens here. Cinderella walks by. Seven one RD two seventy one. Mm -hmm. Right back down to identify. Okay, fifteen monitor. Head for incident four seventy. All right. I think we're gonna end it here. All right. I should be that soon. We got some. Um, PayPal's, I think. Oh, Team KK. Oh, double K Team KK. Just because hugs, Team KK. Thank you, Kimothy. And Kat, can we get 10 more minutes? $10 per minute, dude. Thank you very much for that PayPal, man. Shout out Team KK. 10 minutes from now, okay, we start the clock. It's 4.10. You want to see this guy wiggle his foot for 10 minutes? Hey, thank you for that PayPal, man. Thanks to everybody, man. You don't have to donate, but you do have to hit the thumbs up. That's the only requirement. If you don't hit the thumbs up, then you're dead to me. Hey, thanks, Team KK. It's 410, 420. We're done. Yeah, I was kind of watching it. If I thought he was hurt or something, I 
I'd call. But he's right in front of the lobby of the hotel. I think they're the ones that probably called. Man, that Tesla disappeared out of nowhere, dude. That has to be it. Just the address is, was wrong. It's down. One hotel down. It was a great Tesla. And it's not like he looks like he was seizure. He's not seizuring or something. He's just... Uh, people get kind of like stuck in these repetitive loops, dude. You see it all the time, dude, when people are on drugs out here. They just keep repeating the same thing over and over again. There, he stopped shaking it now. Oh, there he goes again. See, he's in control. He's not in control, but he's in control. I hope. There's about 10 minute ETA. Catch the space shuttle rocket's arrival at 5 a.m.? Oh, hell no! Nah. What do you mean? They're gonna drive the rocket? They're gonna take it to the museum? Hell no, dude. Hey, that does sound cool, man. But Shit. 5 a.m.? I don't think I can make it, man. Thanks for hitting me when you came in. Wohal? How do you pronounce your name? Wohal? Wohal? Yeah, I am like a school bus driver. <coughs> Damn, dude. Think of all these people we see on the street. Like, 1897, Roger. Is clear. I should just start documenting all the, like every single person. How about I just take a picture and I put it up and send it to the mayor and the governor. Like, look, what are we doing about this, bro? Like, at least you guys see, like, all these people walking on the street, bro, like, every night. I mean, most people are harmless, but they could be unpredictable, you know? And a lot of these people, they do harm without, like, w willingly knowing they're doing harm. They're just so out of it, bro. Like, that guy that ran into the ocean with the cops that hit that guy. And then when he got caught, like, you know, you, you could tell he was just, like, he was high on something. He was mentally having a breakdown. He was talking like he was, a, like, a nice person, you know. But he had just finished allegedly fucking hitting some dude with a stick for some stupid reason mm, tweaking hard and seven south Denver six three male Hispanic number one black glasses black mask on with a black rifle so like two and three male Hispanic no further description so six vehicles are white four door sedan possibly a Toyota Racine southbound to Goroa from 149th Vehicle taken is a 2014 Silver Camry license 8 David Fortune X-ray 2808 David Fortune X-ray 2808 Hey, what? So they're towing the rocket in? Hey, I do need you guys to remind me when there's the space launches. Or can I just follow a SpaceX on Instagram or something? I don't have Twitter or X. I did have an account, but I got hijacked. I know Twitter is the best for following stuff like that for updates. I just have Instagram, dude. I have too much shit. It's too much to remember. 
last time I ran into the space launch, which was cool as shit. But I didn't, I didn't know there was a space launch going on. I'm just driving down the street, and I'm like, what the hell is that, dude? I'm like, what is that? Is that a helicopter? And it was kind of like glowing like orange or something. Was like, is, that a, is that a plane? You see it from far away. They're like, what the? Dude, that is not a heli. That's not a plane. What the fuck is that? You're like a meteor? Dude, that's a shooting star. No, it's going too slow. I didn't realize what it was to laughter once I zoomed in. Even when I zoomed in, I was like, dude, is that a missile? Yeah, it does that little mushroom. Mushroom tip. Wow. Anyways, it caught me by surprise. But it was cool. I was like, damn, dude. That's... I need to mark down whenever those are. So we can definitely get them on the screen. And surprising, the camera on a tri would, tripod would probably be pretty, pretty decent. Is the shuttle supposed to come in? You know, five means fucking five means six forty-five LA time. Remember the first time they launched it, and everyone was losing their shit. I did, dude. I remember, dude. I was by my house. At the corner, at the major intersection, I'm waiting at the light, and the light. Everyone, everyone just starts coming, stopping, and getting out of their cars and looking at the sky. And I remember I was like, "What the fuck?" And so I, I stopped, and I'm like, "When's every dude? No one's driving." Like people stopped at the green light. They just stopped and got out of their cars, and we're looking up. And I was like, "What the hell?" So of course I stopped, and I get out, and I'm looking. Could tell people are looking and pointing at the sky just with their phones and i remember the first thing i thought it was like in the news there had been like all this nuclear with the north north korea all this shit it was like they wouldn't stop talking about it for like a week and then when i seen it that was the first thing i thought of dude i was like oh shit it's a nuclear fucking missile And I was like, nah, it's probably not the, uh, probably a UFO, though. Near the, uh, we finally got visited. And I remember everyone I talked to said the same thing, dude. Like, only like 10%, not even less than that, dude. 5% of people actually knew it was happening. And on that one, dude, it was like so clear. It was so like, it seemed like it was so low. And it was, uh. It was not. It was actually amazing to see it. Like, dude, you guys should have probably uh, done a little better job of warning people. Hey, just a heads up. Dude. I'm so sleepy that like I was I didn't even notice that the camera was pointing pointed across the way. Look at this lady. Oh, 
video this is my first time. You guys want to try to do the space shuttle? You got to talk me into the space shuttle. Talk me into going to see the space shuttle arrival. What are, what are we expected to see? I'll give you guys 10 minutes to talk me into it. Hold it up at the corner. What should we expect there? Is it going to come out of the sky? If they're going to land it from the sky, I'll go. Truck is gonna be. What space shuttle is it, dude? 